Hi everyone! So, yeah, let just like last time, let me know if you guys can hear the music, if it's too loud in comparison with, you know, my mic and all of that stuff. But yeah, how are you all doing? I hope you're well. How, have, how has your weekend been? So, yeah, I'm just gonna wait here on this, like, starting soon screen for a second while I wait for you guys to let me know if the audio is okay. <laughs> because, as usual, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, yeah, how has your guys' weekend been? You'll have to let me know about that. And I'm just gonna unpin the message about my cat because he was a little bit... He was being a little bit extra just before I started. <laughs> So yeah, how are you all doing? I hope you're well. What have you been up to? How have you all been enjoying the new pack as well? I, I know I haven't really asked about that yet. So yeah, how are you all doing? <laughs> We're actually going to be, I, I just, I need to do a little bit of setup, on camera setup, and I do apologize. My do my dog. Really? Really? I don't know how much of that you guys can hear. But it's not super late right now. Like, it's not super, super late. It's only like 7 p.m. for me. Which means that everyone and their mother is still, obviously, you know, in the streets, driving around, all of that stuff. And he has a deep deep-seated hatred of anything that even remotely sounds like a motorbike he absolutely has a deep deep-seated hatred of those <laughs> so every time he hears one even if it's like three blocks away he will freak out and immediately charge onto the front porch like start barking his head off it it's a lot hi hen <laughs> so yeah just just let me know if the audio is okay i think the music might be a little bit loud but i don't know if that's just on my end or if it's actually a little bit like okay for you guys so yeah just let me know as usual <laughs> before i like actually hop into the game and like we start playing because yeah i'm nervous enough about this stream as it is and if I keep looking that way, it's because I have my second monitor and I have the chat set up on my second monitor. So I keep like looking over there to read the chat. But yeah, how have you guys been doing? How has, how have you been liking the new pack? Because that is, I, I, I haven't done a, I haven't done, I mean, I've done a bold with the new pack. Oh, okay, so you hear no music unless you raise the volume. Okay, good. So, yeah, it's not too bad. I don't know, I feel like... I feel like it's insanely loud if I raise it, even a little bit. But that could just be my headphones. So I'm gonna raise it a little bit on my PC itself. And then you guys will have to let me know if... Like, it's too, like, loud at all. But yeah, so the fact has been fun. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> I just saw your video um, with Bojana Sims that went up. I haven't watched it yet because I like saw it just before I went live. But that house is so gorgeous. Yeah, how have you guys been liking the new pack? Because what scent is my candle? You love candles. That one actually isn't really scented. It's just colored. <laughs> but I am burning some incense right now because I don't know it calms me down and I need some calm right now <laughs> I'm not used to doing not used to doing gameplay streams but speaking of gameplay I'm going to move some things around and let's see yay it actually captures my game for a change <laughs> So yeah, we're going to be doing the Rags to Riches challenge and I haven't attempted this challenge in ages. 
Like, I haven't done it in ages and ages. So I have done a little bit of setup beforehand, just to make sure that, you know, things work. <laughs> or that I have everything that I need. So, yeah. How's your Sunday? Yeah, no. I don't know if you're asking him or me, but personally, my Sunday has been a lot. The weekend has just been a lot, but it's the end of the month, so that's why. You're doing good, just napped. I'm so jealous. I am so jealous. <laughs> yeah, I've had an ins <laughs> I just Sunday too. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. Just, yeah, just tired. But that's because yesterday was a lot. It was grocery day yesterday and I spent like seven hours grocery shopping. Not fun. Not fun at all. But yeah, so we're starting off this challenge. Usually if, when you do racks to riches, obviously you would start off on a completely empty lot with no money. You know, all of that stuff. But honestly, I don't want to start off that way. And that's just because I don't really want to, like, play on my Sims a lot all that much. Like, I have, I have my Sim. What's her name again? Cinnamon. <laughs> Cinnamon Hot, Hot Pepper. I have her moved into the cheapest apartment that I could find. And all I have in here is the bathroom fixtures, a little camping bed, and then the kitchen fixtures. She doesn't even have a, like, fridge. Because it, when, like, what I know of moving into a new place, even an apartment where I live, when you move in, you don't get a fridge. Unless the place is fully furnished, you don't get a fridge. You will get a stove when you move in, and obviously all of the fixtures. But you don't get a fridge, like, at all. You don't get a fridge, you don't get a microwave, you don't get anything like that. I know that's kind of weird, because... From a lot of, especially Americans that I've seen, they've all talked about getting fridges when they move in to a new place, which is so bizarre to me. But yeah, over here you don't. You will get a stove and that is it. So I've gone through and I've basically furnished this apartment with the basics, like, you know, the stuff that would come with it. And then I put down a little camping bed just because I didn't want to, like, I didn't want to start off the challenge and then have to save up money to buy like a toilet and a bed because I want her to make money off of the new food stalls and restaurants. I want her to actually own a restaurant. So the first thing we need to do is save up to buy an empty lot. So I figured that was enough of a challenge without me still having her like save up for a bed. You know, you got zero of anything. When I moved into my flat, it was the three zero percent furnished. No oven, fridge, bed or anything. Yeah, I mean, it. where I live, we used to, like, there are some requirements that places have, like, regulation-wise, where these days, a place, whether it's a rental house or an apartment, they need to come with a, with a stove. That, that's just the one thing that it needs to come with. It needs to come with a stove. But years ago, it that wasn't even a requirement. So you would move in, you'd have like, obviously all of the bathroom stuff, cabinets in the kitchen, but you wouldn't get a stove or a fridge or anything like that. So, yeah, I mean, we don't, we also don't get obviously like beds or anything, unless you get a fully furnished place. So like, for example, in this house, when we moved in, it came with a stove, like a really big old stove, but we had to bring our own, you know, washer, dryer, we don't have a dryer, but like washer, fridge, all of that stuff. All of the appliances and everything. But yeah, so basically I have her moved into this apartment and that is purely because I she needs to live somewhere. But I also went through, <laughs> and this, you can think this is cheating if you want. But I went through San Myshuno, and in all of the neighborhoods, apart from Uptown, I placed down a couple of dumpsters, where those are like the, the dumpsters from Eco Lifestyle. I placed a couple of those down, just so that, 
because it's a city you would like there would be dumpsters in the city it's just one of those things like it just happens so I did that because I want her to be able to go around and like dive for furniture <laughs> like dumpster dive for furniture so yeah we have that and then also something else is I don't know you guys will have to let me know but I'm kind of torn about whether I want her to start off without any of the appliances that she needs to like bake or cook or anything like that because I want to use the food stalls from the new pack and the restaurant feature to make money that's the only way she's going to make money because I want to use those features obviously she doesn't own a restaurant now I did already decide where I want the restaurant to be and the only reason I decided on this particular lot is because the surroundings kind of vibes with the idea of a restaurant so I want her to own this lot the Magnolia I renamed it to Magnolia Drive so she needs to save up 2,500 simoleons just to be able to buy an empty lot for her restaurant but I also went through and I placed down a little rental I said it as a rental but it's kind of like a little farmers market place over there that used to be empty and I have one of the food stalls placed on that lot so if she makes stuff at home she can at least bring it over there and sell it at that food stall even if she doesn't own a food stall herself which again I feel like is a little bit cheaty if you go with the I guess traditional rules of the like almost said not to bury <laughs> of the rags to riches challenge but truthfully I don't really care <laughs> So I'm going to have her go somewhere where she can, she's starting to get a little bit hungry and obviously we don't have any food. Or at least, I, I actually I want to see if I can have her, she can't like dumpster dive, yeah she can't, she can't dumpster dive yet because it's so empty. But I know she can go around and we desperately need money. So I'm gonna see if she can, none of the posters are up either. I wonder if you could have made a community space lot and set it to a marketplace. Yeah, I, I did try. I did think about that. I tried doing that. That is what that lot was originally set as. I'm going to go there, actually. Because originally when I downloaded it... I'm already tripping over my words. When I downloaded it from the gallery, it was set as a marketplace. But I can't... Even if I place it down as a marketplace, because my sim doesn't live in the neighborhood, she can't vote to turn it into a marketplace. So I would have had to place down all of the different versions of the community spaces lot. And then I wouldn't have any control about whether it actually shows up as a marketplace. Because usually you can cheat it, you can like cheat whether it's set up as like a marketplace or a makerspace or whatever. But only if your sims live there. So yeah, I didn't really want her to live on one of these two lots and have just an empty lot. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, it looks really, really cool. I actually, I did change it up a tiny bit. But I'll show you the original... This one, it's this one. It's by Simbix Blue, and it's the Newcrest Marketplace. Now, I did go in and change it up a little bit, so I changed up the food stalls just because I figured these two would fit the like area a little bit better. I can't remember. I think this is the San Sequoia one, like the I think it's like food food from around the world or whatever, and then the Foxbury Coffee one. And then I just changed up the interior to add a cash register because I have it set as a retail, so you need that. And what else did I do? Oh yeah, I added some planters because I, f <laughs> I figured, you know, it's a marketplace. It's like an outdoors farmer's market type thing. They would probably have some like harvestables over here, right? <laughs> or at least my sim could use those. She could like steal some of the harvestables, which... I'm perfectly fine with and then I just placed they used to have a bubble blower on in this area 
but I replaced it with a food stand because I need to use it and I don't want her to have to like own her own one not the right off the bat anyway but the reason I'm here is because I want her to start a looking for some food <laughs> Hopefully some sims will come by and like grill some stuff because she doesn't have any money. So I did go in even though I kind of made her apartment somewhat livable. She doesn't have any money. So I need her to go around and try and look for harvestables or something. <laughs> Just so that she can like get some money but there's nothing spawning here. She's going to go water something okay. But this is the lot that I want her to own for her restaurant. So eventually she'll have like a restaurant over there. And I'm thinking we'll probably start off with the food stall. And then she will like... When she earns enough money from the food stalls to buy the lot, we'll buy it. And then, you know, get all of the equipment to have it as a restaurant. But maybe still like only run a food stall from it or, you know, something like that. But yeah, I'm just going to have her go over and fish while I wait for some things to spawn, finally. But yeah, so how have you guys been liking the new pack? Like, I know you've been really liking it, Hen, but like, how has everyone else been feeling? I haven't really done anything with it, apart from build. <laughs> That's the only thing I've done with it. So yeah, sorry if I drink like a lot of water, but my throat is not cooperating. So yeah, she's gonna just like fish a little bit while we wait for her. Is my game sound on? Let me just... It is on, but it's on super low, so I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. Okay, so she caught a cichlid. That's, hey, that's 15 simoleons. That's something. We're going to sell that. And I'm not going to worry about her having to sell stuff like harvestables and whatever from a stall or whatever. She's, she can just sell them from her inventory. It's fine. Because that's not the way that she's really supposed to be making money. I don't feel bad having her just, <laughs> just sell it from her inventory. And it looks like they're too crafty. No, they are not. Go back to fishing, please. And, I don't know, I've never really looked around Magnolia Promenade to see if there's anything that ever spawns in here. <laughs> like, I don't know if it has, like, spawn points. For harvestables, or frogs, or whatever. I don't even know if it has any. Because if it doesn't, we'll just have to go somewhere else. Oh, okay, so here's a little harvestable. Strawberry bush. But that's not grown yet. Blackberries. And obviously the plants aren't going... Ooh, there's a lily. It has a lily on it. Why can't I harvest it? <laughs> but I know lilies are really, really expensive. But ooh, someone's made food. Someone has made food. Come over here. And... She doesn't have a fridge, so it does. It wouldn't help if she put it in her inventory because she doesn't have anywhere to put it back home. So she's just going to eat something. And I'm really looking for like a rock or a like fish or something <laughs> that she can harvest, but there's nothing. So once she's eaten, we're going to have to go somewhere else, I think. Because she needs to make money. She needs to be able to at least like afford a fridge for her home. And then she's going to have to start saving up to buy the equipment. Because that's the other thing that I wanted to ask you guys is... Do you think I should cheat to give her the equipment to start making food? Or yeah, to start making like stuff for the food stall? I don't think I should... Personally, I don't think I should because that would defeat the purpose of the challenge, I think. Because once I start doing that, then she's just going to be able to get, like... She's going to start be able to start cooking immediately and then start making money immediately. And it would make it very, very easy. <laughs> so I'm gonna have her go and die for some deals first because, you know, we need some furniture. 
What did she get? Hey, an electronic upgrade part. Fantastic. She doesn't like dumpster diving. <laughs> you think I should do what feels best for me? Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna see how hard or how boring it ends up being trying to have her earn money to buy the new appliances. And if it ends up taking too long or being too boring, I'll just like cheat them. And then maybe once she starts making more money, I can like pretend that she took out the loan or whatever. <laughs> but she's going to start, she's going to be dumpster diving for ages. She just found a Shea lounge, which is a little bit burnt. But she's also found a chair, I think. Yeah, she's found a chair. She's found a little bit, a round table that's in a little bit like not the best condition, but that's fine. Yeah, no, you can just keep diving. Keep diving. We need the furniture. <laughs> she found nine simoleons. That's good. But yeah, she's just dumpster diving. She's not even... Uh, uh, she's not even like a sim that likes doing stuff like this. She found a dirty double bed. Which... Like, she already has a bed at home. <laughs> she found a white dye. In that dumpster. I don't think that one has anything else. So let's go check out this one. Hey, Asimza. Hey, Mel. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Why are people getting married? What the actual... Whatever. MC Command Center. But hi, Mel. How are you doing? How's your weekend been? I hope you're doing good. <laughs> yeah, how are, how are you feeling about the new pack? I know you've done that big build with the pack that I absolutely loved. But have you, like... Add any more chance to play with it? Also, how are you feeling? Because I know you've been sick, so... Yeah, currently my sim is just like... Let's just keep diving. Apparently that's like the bottom... Bottomless dumpster. Or not. Okay, so she found a golden grim. Let's see what's in her inventory that I can sell because... Yeah, she... Let's just sell everything. Wow, okay, so that's... Quite a nice amount of simoleons. How much is... Hold up. How much is this thing worth? Okay. So... No, this is not cheating. She did find it. You guys saw her find it. It's worth a thousand simoleons. Because it's the semi... Like, the golden medieval grim one. So... It's worth a thousand simoleons. I'm selling it. Because I think we have all of the money we need now. <laughs> Let's go home. You love the new pack, but you haven't played really with it. But you love bull buying cast. Yeah, I haven't played with it at all myself either. I did a little bit of gameplay. Not really gameplay. But I, for my overview video, I did a tiny bit of gameplay with it. Where I kind of just made sure that the food stall worked. But other than that, I haven't done anything. This is my first time that I'm actually going to be actively trying to make a proper living by selling stuff. You're still very sick. Actually worse than when you recorded a few days ago. Oh no. Like your voice is gone. Oh that sucks. I hate when that happens. But yeah, that's why I'm drinking as much water as I am. Is because I'm also not feeling my best. What the hell is... It, it sounded like something was like... I don't know, like... Blowing against the door or whatever. It's kind of windy where I am. Again. But let's see. Yeah, you've been drinking a lot of tea. Yeah, I mean, I, I was okay. I mean, I've, I've had a cough for weeks now. It's just, I've gotten over... I've stopped trying to, like, get rid of it and just make peace with it. But yesterday, I went grocery shopping. And it was, when we went, it, like, it was super rainy and cold and miserable. So, I think my cold has come back in full force. Not good. I'm gonna rearrange the kitchen a tiny bit. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm just going to see if I can get her, like, 
She doesn't really need the mixer right now. It would be nice. But I'm going to get the waffle maker first. I'm going to get the waffle maker. And then part of me wants to get the drink tray. From backyard stuff. Because <laughs> if you guys didn't watch my overview, you probably didn't see this. But this thing makes bank. When you sell stuff like lemonade, it really makes bank. Like, really, really. So, <laughs> I'm, I kind of want to use that. So, I'm going to sell her old bed and then put down the double bed that she found in the dumpster. Which is because, you know, why not? Dumpster beds are always nice. She has a... I'm going to put all of this stuff down. And then see if she can fix it. And then sell it. Because she doesn't need any of this stuff. I'm just going to put it down. Okay, so she has a chair. She now has a chair, which is great. And let's see if I have money for the... For the pizza oven. I do. What do you guys think she should get? The pizza oven or the mixer? The mixer will speed up making stuff but the pizza oven is obviously another thing that she can make and sell you were feeling a little bit of a cold for a few weeks and then this week it was like bam you're not gonna be able to breathe have a fever and just overall be really sick yeah so a couple of it was probably like two months ago by now i got a really i got the flu basically like really really bad and i don't i don't usually get sick so when that happened, it was really bad. And ever since then, it's just, it hasn't gone away. Like, I'll get better and everything, and then one day I'll be back to, like, having a stuffy and runny nose and coughing and all of that stuff for a few days. Then it gets better, and then it comes back. So it's all very irritating. Pizza oven to start with, because then she can feed herself well. Yeah, okay, so pizza oven. Let's just put that over there. And then she basically has a, like, entire, I guess, arsenal of stuff that she can make. So she can make waffles, she can make drinks, because I know for a fact, in my, <laughs> in my overview, I had my sim make iced tea, and sell glasses of iced tea, and one of, like, one of those glasses sold for, like, 60 simoleons each. <laughs> So it was a little bit cheaty, but also I didn't really feel bad about it. So yeah, she's gonna use the toilet, shower, and then I'm going to have her go to bed. Because she doesn't need to make any of this stuff right now. And she is this dirty birdie, may have found some amazing treasures, but she still can't help but taste a tinge of regret. What is What are her traits again? Because I can't remember... So she's hot-headed, self-assured, a goofball, clumsy, and a foodie. Because I am using... Why can't you go shower? Go take a shower. You're just going to be editing while chatting here. While chatting here, this video is 3 hours and 50 minutes. Wow. What? After being sped up, so this is going to take some time. How much footage did you have? Like, how much footage did you have for that? Because that is insane. I can't remember the last time I had a video that was that long. Also, how much do you speed it up by? Because, yeah. Yeah, I honestly... It was like 20 hours? Good lord. Good grief. I don't think I've ever done a speedball. That was 20 hours. Like, ever. Although, the two high schools that I started probably would have turned out that long. Although, I, like I said, I, I bulldozed those, so didn't get there. It's a 50 by 50, that's why. We all know my love of clutter. True. Very true. That's understandable. But, like, the, the longest speedboard that I've ever done... You speed it up like five times, I guess, or five hundred percent. Yeah, so I usually speed my stuff up six or six and a half times. 
So, yeah, it's a little bit faster. But that, I don't know if you guys watched or saw that, like, off-the-grid family farm build that I did as part of Lil Simsy's, like, shell challenge a couple of months ago. Like, a lot of months ago. But that one took me, I think I had 12 hours of footage for that. And I think that was the longest build that I've ever done. Because I had 12 hours of footage for it. And then it took me like 8 hours to edit it. If you spin around so much I would get dizzy. Yeah. Yeah, no, th what the actual... Okay, so a lot of stuff just happened. I'll read through that in a second. <laughs> but yeah, I also, I, I don't know. I've kind of learned not to spin around too much when I build. And whenever I do, if I catch it in editing... I'll edit it out. So even if that means that I have a bunch of cuts where it looks like I'm just like jumping from one angle to another angle, I would rather have those cuts than make people dizzy with the spinning. But yeah, I get it. I don't know, I just, I can't speed stuff up less than that unless I don't have a lot of footage. You usually don't, but with this you were spinning so much. Yeah. <laughs> I know with, I don't know, I can't remember what build it was. I think one of, one of my recent builds, I was also spinning around a lot because I kept wanting to look at stuff from, I think it was from, with the apartment build, like the home, like the celebrity chef apartment, where I spun around a lot because I wanted to see what everything looked like from different angles and like with the ceiling and stuff. So yeah, I get it. It sucks. <laughs> Yeah, so what just, like, there was a lot of stuff that popped up, so, oh, it's just MC Command Center being MC Command Center. So, Bella Goth had another kid, Ariana Goth, okay, Jasmine Tinker, Jaylene Tinker, another girl, Sarah Scott also had a girl, Dana, wow, okay, Siobhan Fires had a baby with Sergio Romeo, another girl, Isabel, that's a very nice name. And Vanessa Charm had a baby boy with Daryl Charm, Adrian Charm. Wow. Supriya Delgato had another girl with Melody, called Melody, with Justin. Yeah, so apparently my MC Commands is... MC Command. wow. My MC Command Center settings have people having babies left, right, and center, apparently. So, yeah. That's great because I'm I think I'm playing with my I'm playing with my current household settings, I think. So that is why. Usually when I like when I'm not playing. Ooh, dinner's ready, we're gonna go eat. No worries. Thank you. Hope you have a good dinner. I ate really, really quickly before I started stream. I ate like uh, I ate a grilled cheese <laughs> sandwich <laughs> just to make sure that I like had eaten but yeah so I'm gonna have her what the actual it keeps sounding like something is like blowing around on the on the roof or something but I don't know have a quick meal have some cereal and then I'm gonna start cooking or I guess you could also yeah have some cereal and then go dive for deals. Go do some more dumpster diving. Because, you know, we actually, I mean, if we can get to a point where we can sell all of this stuff, then she will have already made so much money. So I'm going to have her replace that. And now she has a little Shea Lounge. Which I'm going to sell and see how much it's worth. Because she just spent, oh no, we have bulls. I think. Okay, so she spent 175 simoleons. Yeah, we have bulls. Great. Fantastic. She just moved in. But yeah, so she spent 175 simoleons fixing that, and she sold it for the exact same amount. So that, that's pointless. But go dive for some stuff. Who's this? Oh, it's Darling. 
She also her social sucks, but we don't have time. We don't have time to be social. We need to make money. So much money. Like, we are in desperate need of more money. <laughs> so yeah, go dumpster dive. Like, a ton. What did you find? Four simoleons. That's not worth anything. Upgrade pot. Yes, go dumpster dive. Oh, she found a dino. But it's in, ba in bad condition again. Another pay. Oh, that's a very expensive painting, but it's in bad condition. Oh, she found a very nice bed. So that's good. Let's go dumpster dive. And then once she's done this and gone back home, cleaned herself up a little bit, I think I'm going to have her... Stop that. You're not filthy enough. Like, keep diving. Ignore being filthy. Like, it doesn't matter. I will cheat it. Like, I'm going to cheat up her needs a little bit. Because I need her to keep dumpster diving. <laughs> I need her to keep dumpster diving. I don't mind cheating up her, like, hygiene a little bit. Oh my word. She found a, she found another golden semi. At this point, I feel... Okay, so it's only 250. So it's not that... It's not that expensive. So that's not too bad. Like, I don't feel too bad about selling that one. <laughs> Keep diving. Oh, you and your freaking hygiene. Like, why? She's already dirty. Why would it, Why would she mind, like, dumpster diving when she's dirty? She's already dirty. It doesn't matter. Go dive. I'm cheating her needs, like, I swear. Like, I swear, I, I, I'm cheating her hygiene. I just cannot be bothered. Keep diving. And then, oh, the posters are out. So go and... Where's the other poster thing? There's that one. Grab a poster. I don't think there's anyone over there, right? No, it's none. And then... Go look for snow globes, because why not? Go grab another poster once you can. And I think those are all of the like collectibles around here, apart from the dumpster that we. She's going to be spending most of her time in dumpsters, I can already tell. <laughs> but she's already ha she's already up to like over 500 simoleons, so that's really good because yeah, she needs the money. And then I'm gonna see if I can have her get a little bit of a discount. I think. And she's going to order some... Oh, oh my word. Really? Really? I hate her hygiene need right now. Like, it's really irritating me. <laughs> Go grab a poster. She doesn't have anything fun to do, but like, she doesn't have anything at home to be fun. So, she's gonna have to get over herself a little bit. <laughs> Go get a poster. Go get the other ones that you need to get. Why did the food stall close? Man. Hopefully someone will be by to open it up in just a second. Wow. Her fun just shot up and I did not cheat that. I did not cheat that. Wasn't me. <laughs> that was not me. I'm gonna have her... Let's just go and meet someone. So that she can have a friend. Because she's very... She's very unhappy with her social need. <laughs> Go meet Siobhan. Go on. We can always meet, like... Who's that? Salim? We can always meet Salim. But I feel like she wouldn't really care about... Like, being in a relationship right now. She's way too career-oriented. Talk about the weather, you know, as you do. Talk about the weather gush about industrial decor apparently discuss your favorite recipes you know you're a chef kind of <laughs> kind of not really kind of and will someone open that stall no she doesn't like cerebral sims i don't think i don't really care <laughs> 
tell a joke about penguins. And yay, the food stall's open. So let's go get a discount and then try and order something to eat. Now that we know someone that we can at least call when she's lonely. So that's something. So even if, you know, they don't become friends. She's act they're actually already friends, I think. Their relationship is already quite high. So, yeah, they're already friends, apparently. And they have an amazing compatibility. So that's good. But yeah, go order some food. Then, I don't know, go shower, I guess. <laughs> you can have her go shower. She did get some more. Oh, that's 160. A little snow globe and some posters that we can sell. What did she say? Yay. Body order? Oh, so it's really, really cheap if you have that. That's cool. Let's have her learn ramen. Why not? She's not... No, she's not a vegetarian. <laughs> but yeah, so the reason she has five traits is because I have the more traits mod installed. I don't really have any other mods installed on this. I have a couple of, like, a deep indigos, like education mods like the education overhaul mod but the only other mods i really have are like more traits and then i have obviously mc command center ui cheat you know all of that stuff and then the only cc i have in right now are my like not i don't i don't have defaults i have a default skin but i have a couple of my like must have I guess you could say like skin overlays and stuff that I have in. But that's it. So everything you see on her is like in-game stuff. Finish your food. Let's see if I can get her to dumpster dive a little bit. Just the tiniest, tiniest bit. And then she can go upstairs and shower. She's taken her first step towards... Because first culinary... To ah, wow. First steps on her culinary journey. So she's learned her first meal. And I wonder... Penny is going to go back into her apartment now, isn't she? I, I could have her pay her bills right now. But like, honestly... I kind of don't want to do that. I kind of want to spend the money on cooking. <laughs> so that she can get back to like... So that she can actually start like selling stuff let's sell that that wasn't worth all that much at all i could have her replace some of these like like fix up some of these furniture items but honestly i don't think that's necessary right now especially not if they're not going to sell for like a lot of money this bed though I wonder how much it would be for her to fix up the bed. I'm gonna put it out and see. This painting, I think, has seen better days. Oh no, it hasn't. It doesn't look to be burned or anything. And it's worth over a thousand simoleons. So it is being sold. This also doesn't look bad, so it's also worth something. So, yay. So she has money. She has actual money for a change. So, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to replace the bed. Like, I could replace it. How much is the bed worth? So, like, if I replace it and fix it, how much am I going to be able to sell it for? Where is it? So, that is literally the, the price of the bed. Like... It's not worth me keeping it. So I'm just going to sell all of this stuff. Because I think if you fix them, they're only worth like retail price. And that's just pointless. So I'm going to have her clean up. Not that. Clean up. Because she is very stinky. Go to bed. Why... Why is my game being so weird? Like, can you not? Can you not, please? So 
So yeah, I think I'm gonna have her. Why is it taking so long to save? Why? It never takes this long. I swear if my game crashes, if my game crashes, I am ending the stream. Like, <laughs> what is going on with it? Okay, thank goodness. Can you go shower now? I'm also going to clear my notifications because sometimes that lags the game a little bit. Go shower. You smell like a foot. And then go sleep because yeah okay so you're she's cleaning up she's gonna go shower and then I'm gonna have her start cooking in the morning so that she can take food I think I'm gonna have her make like waffles and the iced tea and stuff and then she's gonna take everything go to that food stall go to that like farmers market smelling like a foot <laughs> yeah she's like she's smelling like a foot like I don't know I could have said something way worse. <laughs> like, I could have said something way worse, but yeah, she's smelling like a foot. Granted, she's been digging around in trash cans, so... Fair enough. <laughs> and it's been city trash cans, which... They're probably very gross. <laughs> Vlad? No. No. Just no, I'm gonna... No trespass. <laughs> yeah, she's living... <laughs> yeah, she's living in the apartment with the body outline. That's why it's so cheap. She, she didn't have like... She couldn't afford to be picky about where she lives. So, you know... She got a great discount on this place. It has a questionable past. Has a little bit of a questionable past. The layout kind of sucks. But, you know, it, it, it. she couldn't pass up the price. You love it, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, hi, Ebony. How are you? How have you been? How's your weekend? I just, I, I kind of want to, like, just take my hair down. Because I have it in a thing. And it's annoying me. <laughs> What the? Oh. Oops. <laughs> she, a rude awakening. If the mice would just keep her down. So yeah, she's also in a needs TLC apartment. So, yeah. She's a, I, I can't, kind of also want to like, I can't hear my audio. Like, over the music. So I'm turning it like way up. But yeah, so <laughs> this this apartment, I did make it worse than it was. Hope all is well and you're doing great. My weekend has been mostly lazy with TV and playing Sims. I wish that could have been my weekend. Yesterday was an absolute shit show. I was like out of the house way too long. Grocery shopping, a lot of stress. Then last night, luckily it wasn't too bad. But then today I had family over again and then I needed to set up for the stream. This whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, so I made this apartment worse. So like originally it has the needs TLC lot trait that you can't remove. But I also gave it the filthy and the grody lot like lot challenges. Because I want her to suffer. I want her to suffer. <laughs> and like have an incentive to want to make as much money as possible. Okay, so she made it worse. Try again. Let's try again. Maybe it'll work. Please work. <laughs> Yay, it worked. Okay. So that worked. She's now dirty again. But go shower. Use the toilet. Get some... I think... I think I'm just going to have her have like cereal because it's free. <laughs> and then she's going to start cooking. Now, I do want to grab... I want to grab a stand mixer. Where is it? I want to grab a stand mixer 
because I want it, it'll speed up the whole process so we're getting that and then I'll put that one in her inventory she's not gonna use it right now will you just I swear my game hates me today like go use the toilet take a shower good lord and yeah then once she's done eat why does she keep cancelling out of stuff is that a, like is that a new glitch in the game is it just my game has it been happening with you guys as well where she's still sat on the toilet but she's not using the toilet and she keeps cancelling out of taking a shower I'm going to reset her because that is just annoying the hell out of me. Yes, so take a freaking shower. Thank you. Jeez. See, this is why I don't usually play the game. <laughs> this is why I stick to bold mode. Because it doesn't do stuff like this that annoys me. Did these rats come out or is... No, she's still just angry from the other ones. It's fine, it's fine. You'll get over it. But the reason I'm, basically, the reason I made this apartment even worse with like the filthy and the grody lot challenges is because I wanted to kind of give her an incentive to really want to move. Like she really wants to move. Or I thought we could decide on like a milestone that she has to reach, whether that's like... She has to have a certain amount of money or, you know, whatever. And then, you know, once she has that, I can remove those lot challenges or, like, remove one of them or whatever. So maybe if she has, like, a certain amount of money, we can say that. We can pretend, like, she had someone in, she had someone come in to maybe, like, professionally clean the place. So it's not as filthy anymore, so I can remove that one. And then I'll just deduct money from her for, for that. Your game seemed super buggy like the last night too. A major issue I was having with my infant would not stay asleep. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really noticed anything. I haven't really noticed anything too bad. Let's put it that way. But that's because I haven't really been playing all that much. So I'm going to have her prep some batter because batter is used for making like waffles. And yes, Sims would keep cancelling actions. Okay, so it's not just me. I thought that was just a me thing. No, Siobhan, we're not going to Geekon. Is Geekon? Geekon? Oh, Geekon is right downstairs. I forgot about that. So she just acquired the cooking skill. She isn't even, like, used to cooking. <laughs> this is going to end so badly. And I also, like, let me just check, but I don't think I have... We don't have a fire extinguisher, not fire extinguisher, fire alarm. Which... I'm gonna put in. Because truthfully, having a sim with no cooking skill... Trying to be a chef. I feel like that's going to end very badly. <laughs> also, I'm going to have her start baking some stuff too. Because I want her to bake. I want to bake. I want her to bake some cupcakes. And then sell cupcakes. So bake some vanilla cupcakes while you're waking, waiting for the mixer. See like this. Like my game is taking forever. Immediate fire. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, I've only been having her have quick meals because I didn't want her to start a fire. Because if she starts a fire and stuff burns down, we don't have the money to replace the stuff that she burns to the ground. Like, we don't have the cash. <laughs> so, why does it feel like my game is so, so soft? It's actually irritating me. Like, I don't know. Usually, I don't even play with sound on, to be fair. Like, I don't usually have my game, my game audio on at all. So, I don't know. I just, it feels weird to me if you guys can't hear the game. Ugh. 
like I'm, I don't know. Oops. Okay. That was my phone alarm. So I'm turning. I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit. Just a tiny bit because it's not supposed to be the focus, obviously. And then hopefully. I can turn my game audio up enough so that I can actually hear it. Because otherwise, what the hell? It feels weird. Okay. So she's made her cupcakes. That's good. I'm gonna put them in the... What do I want to do? I mean, she can grab a cupcake. I don't know. I... Let's see what happens. Grab a cupcake. Put it down. Grab a cupcake. Put it down. <laughs> I want her to keep grabbing them because I want them to be like individual servings. I don't want her to sell like the whole plate at once. So grab a cupcake. I think that's how it works. I'm not sure if that's how it works. Or if Sims, if you have like a serving of something like a serving if they'll like buy one of the servings or if they buy the entire plate i honestly i don't know why are you calling me infants we don't have kids woman we don't have children we don't even have a partner like wh why i know that's a bug and it's, it's been reported, I know that, but like, it's still so weird. <laughs> so her, her dough, or whatever that was, her batter, excuse me, batter, is done. So she just made five, I think, yeah, five little things of batter. And I also gave her the appliance whiz aspiration from the pack. So she obviously owns one. She needs to collect five prepped ingredients while inspired. So, let's see. What more can she make? She can make lactose-free batter. Why not? Let's make some lactose-free batter. And then go and make some waffles. Make some berry waffles, I think. And I can have her already make some pizzas. Like, she can do that. And we just got told that... See, this is another thing, like, they'll give you, like, the warning, and then they'll just shut off your power. So I'm gonna have to have her go and, like, pay her bills. Otherwise, I don't know how she's still cooking. I don't know how that is still going. Even though the power is off. You had your uh, chef some sell three different types of waffles last night and she did pretty, pretty good, made 275. Yeah, I mean, just in my playthrough. So, like, just in my playthrough, I had my sim, like, run a quick little sale thing, very quick. And she made, like, over 600 simoleons. But I think most of that she actually made from selling, um, like, iced tea. So I'm definitely going to do that. That's why she has the little like iced tea maker in her inventory. <laughs> because I, I remember a glass of iced tea sold for like 60 simoleons. Okay, so I have another discount. Which, you know, obviously we also need to greet Kyle because Kyle. <laughs> I'm going to have her grab a burger while she waits for her stuff to cook. Because she is starting to get a little bit hungry. And yeah, let's just eat something, maybe talk to Kyle a little bit. Yeah, so like, it really is good. Like, I know my sim, granted, granted, she did have, she did have a, what the hell? Sorry, that was really loud. <laughs> okay, so someone just had some fun. Ava, Harjo, and... Okay. They just had some fun. My dog just started barking. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Just... I can hear a bike. 
That's why. Captain! Sorry about that, you guys. I think I might have just shouted in your ears because I forgot to mute myself. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but yeah, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah. My sim had a max cooking skill because I just wanted to use her for playtesting. But, like, that I don't think affects, like, making drinks on that little table. So, yeah, I don't think that. Really? Really? Damn it, dog. Jeez. Honestly, I'm so over my. Sorry about that, you guys. The, like, picture of professionalism over here, like. <sighs> but, like, like I said at the beginning of the stream when he did it again, as well, like, he hates motorcycles. Like, he hates them with a burning passion. And, like, people over here where I live, yesterday as well, like, it's the weekend. Yeah, your dog barks if a leaf blows. It's, yeah, mine too. Like, where we live, he has, like, a view of the ocean. Because we have a view of the ocean from our front balcony. And if there's a boat on the ocean, he will bark at it. Non-stop. As if he can, like, reach the boat on the freaking ocean. But yeah, like, people... Because it's the weekend, and, like, it's, like, the end of the month and everything. Everyone in my street... See, it seems like everyone in my street has been ordering like deliveries like <laughs> like pizza and uber eats and all of that stuff and they always use motorcycles to deliver so he has been barking non-stop Bess, what do you want no i have the simoleon but i'm not doing it like no i know your phony scams i'm not falling for it like why are you just standing there frozen <laughs> Yeah, Bess is definitely a scammer. Okay, put your plate down. I think, like, thank goodness, like, the waffles and stuff can't actually burn. What the? Oh, my cat is inside. He's eating. See, this is what happens when I... <laughs> this is what happens when I record. Not, I'm not recording. This is what happens when I, like, do anything <laughs> video related at any other time than like in the middle of the night there's just so many interruptions so many interruptions it's not even funny <laughs> where did she put the waffles okay so she put them there pick up a bunch of different servings but the one thing that i really want to test when i actually have her go and sell the items is i left a couple of cupcakes on the plate I think there's like three servings of cupcakes left on that little plate. And I want to leave those there. Because I want to see if I have that on the table. If the Sims, when they buy them, if they buy the entire plate. Or if they only buy one serving off of the plate. If that makes sense. I'm also going to have her put some more waffles in. Make some plain waffles. And then also, I'm going to have her make a pizza. Make a marinara pizza. You know, she can treat herself. Keep it in the keep it in the fridge for herself. Yeah, we did not participate in the hackathon. Why would we? She has no programming skill. <laughs> at all. She's level 2 cooking, so you know, that's something. But yeah, so those things are going... What was I saying just like five minutes ago? You know, she just leveled up her cooking skill. 
and started a fire. The waffle maker started a fire. Ow. Thank goodness I put in a fire extinguisher, a fire alarm. I can't even see the fire. Let's extinguish it. Don't just stand around, extinguish it. Thank you. I can't, I just... Yeah, you're a little bit late, eh? And now... You don't need to call the fire fire apartment. Fire depot. Oh! Okay, so... I've never noticed this. She just got 302 simoleons, but... I never noticed that they had a fire alarm in the hallway. So that does that mean that if you have a fire in any of the apartments... That works? So you don't technically need one in your apartment? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so she got 300 simoleons. Like, from insurance. But just replacing the freaking shower is almost 400. How did it... Okay, so the cabinet up top didn't burn. But it somehow went through the wall. And completely ruined our shower. And our waffle maker. Oh, you bastard. Like, you actual, actual bastard. <laughs> but she can, now that she's level 2, she can make some prepped veggies. Speed, speeds up the cooking of veggie-based recipes. And dough, which speeds up the baking of pizzas. So that's nice. She can also make pumpkin spice waffles, which is great. But yeah, see, now she's just going to have to spend more time cooking. Because she was an idiot. And set her kitchen on fire. And yes, I am very salty about that. Make some pumpkin spice waffles and redeem yourself. <laughs> oh. You're making my life a lot harder than it needs to be. Oh. Hi, Gwendolyn. <laughs> You're cracking up. Yeah, like, I'm trying so hard not to say something that I shouldn't say on camera. <laughs> because if I was playing this off camera, I would be cursing her out right now. Like, you would not, like, it would be bad. But hi, Gwendolyn, how are you? How has your weekend been? What are you up to? Okay, so she just made some pizza. I'm going to put that in her fridge for her. Like, she's not going to sell that one. You know, her first pizza that she made. She can keep it. And I just, I want to keep an eye on this waffle maker. Because if it sets fire to the kitchen again, I will, I will quit. Hey, Cinnamon, you're so notorious that one of my unscrupulous friends has been asking you to meet you. Can I give them your number? How is she notorious? She knows like two people. <laughs> Three people if you count her landlord. But she knows Siobhan, Kyle and her landlord. That is it. But okay. Sure, give me the, their number. That's fine. Like, I don't know. She Yeah, like she literally knows two people. So, you know. Anyway... It's, I almost said it's late, but it's not. It's like 5.30. <laughs> it's 5.30. <laughs> Go collect your waffles. Please, for the love of all that's holy, don't set fire to the kitchen. And see, stuff like this, where my sims are just... She's just sat there, like... In her poor little lonely chair. Yeah, that's one of her dumpster chairs. She found it in the dumpster. <laughs> she also found her bed in the dumpster. But she, like this, like... Why? I've been playing my current household. And I've been playing them a little bit today. And I haven't had any of those issues with my current household save. And that one is like heavily modded, so you would expect that one to be a lot more glitchy 
than this one that doesn't have like any almost like it has some mods but not a lot okay so we're gonna put those in the fridge she is already tired so i think i'm going to have her go to bed like really really early oh she can also collect her dough and then i am going to have her bring her like appliances with us to the like farmer's market thing where she's going to sell some stuff so that if she runs out of stuff she can like you know make some more see she god this game is so glitchy and you guys wonder why i don't do more gameplay videos like if this was a video i would have given up like 30 minutes ago <laughs> I would have given up and not recorded like 30 minutes ago. Hi Bonneville. <laughs> Just lurking. No worries while doing some baking. What are you baking though? That is the important question. I've been asking everyone how they were. You know how your weekend has been. How do you like the new pack? But honestly what are you baking? And can you share? <laughs> You're loving the chaos? Yeah, you know, I, I... Oh, you're making apple crisp. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Any sort of, like, apple pie or apple crisp or whatever is, like, my favorite. And yes, you can share. Gotta try... <laughs> Gotta transport it. <laughs> yeah, like, we just need a... We just need a little teleporter thing or something. I would honestly not mind that at all. But yeah, the chaos is... The chaos has been fun. It's been... At least it's entertaining. Like, I was really worried that this stream wouldn't be entertaining because I'm not... I'm not used to streaming gameplay. So, I was really worried that I would be, like, not entertaining. So that's also why I... <laughs> You'll also take some apple crisp? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah so that is why i kind of i decided to do a challenge for our gameplay stream rather than trying to you know do something story based or whatever where i have to like story tell because i really suck at that on camera so yeah and the rags and riches challenge is something that i haven't done in ages and usually i give up usually i quit it i like Oh my word, everyone is having babies. <laughs> Usually I give up on the Rags to Riches challenge before I get too far. Okay, everyone put your orders in so I know how much to make. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm so used to seeing your builds. So seeing you play the game is so nice to see. Oh, thanks. Yeah, usually I don't play. Like I said, I, I don't usually play. This will be my first time actually exploring the new PAX gameplay. And I'm going to have her... It's still super, super early. So I'm going to have her, like... Yeah, she can have some pizza for breakfast. Why not? Leftover pizza is the best. <laughs> like, it's the best. Go have some pizza. And then... Okay, so she can't dump the dive yet. Because they're not full. Okay, so that's good. And by good, I mean really annoying. <laughs> But I am going to have her go run around, collect some posters and snow globes. You know, every little bit helps. Money-wise. <laughs> but yeah, like, my, my, the only gameplay that I ever do is, like, current household stuff. Whenever I have a current household. And I get, even those I get bored with. So I'll, like, flip between three or four different current households every couple of months. And I'll play them like religiously for like three weeks at a time. And then I won't touch them for four months. <laughs> I love all these plays because I never seem to get the time to play them myself. The chaos makes me feel better about my IRL. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I love watching. What are you doing? What's this? I don't know what you're talking. Okay, so she's grabbing her pizza and going. Okay, so that's, you know, multitask. We, we love a good multitasker. That's fine. But yeah, like, I love watching gameplay, 
because same like I never like I never get time to actually explore gameplay so especially when a new pack comes out like I still and this is going to be very bad sound very bad but even though I built for the horse ranch pack you'd you lose your damn plate if you did that yeah <laughs> and she just she just put the you're not supposed to litter, okay? Like, at least pick it back up. We have a little puppy. We have a little doggo. <laughs> that came to see why I was talking to myself. Not Yeah, she's like literally litter, littering. And she can't even put it in her inventory to like take it back home. Which, you know, isn't great. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What is this? What is it? Yes, it's my little fur face. His name's Captain. Like, Captain, but Afrikaans. See, mommy's baby. Sending kisses, thank you. <laughs> so, go, 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 go. <laughs> you will, like, once you invite him to, like, cuddle once, you won't stop. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna have her... Yeah. How was that a disappointing drink? It was literally tap water. And now she's washing her glass in the sink, because... In the bathroom, because that is just... Sims things, I guess. Sims things. And now she's frozen again. Good lord, this game is testing my patience. But I'm gonna have her... Why does she... Oh, she got a little... Oh, ew. Oh, she has roaches. We have roaches. Uh. Yeah, freak out. And then try to eradicate them because we don't need roaches in our kitchen. You're supposed to be a chef. If the health department saw you right now, they would shut you down. <laughs> You're supposed to be a chef. Oh, it worked. It worked? Why? I don't know why she's sad. Oh, she's lonely. Yeah, she is a little bit lonely. Why not talk a... Talk to Kyle a little bit. Talk to Siobhan a little bit. It's still 7 a.m. So, you know, it's still early. We can go out after that. But I'm going to have her grab all of the food that she made. All of the waffles, cupcakes. And then we're going to head over to the farmer's market where she's going to sell some stuff. But I just want her to get her, like, social up a little bit so she can stop being so sad. And now he's just sat stare, like, sat next to me staring at me. <laughs> and I don't know why. <laughs> I, I think he doesn't understand why I'm, like, sat talking to my computer. Okay, so we're gonna go and sell some stuff at the farmer's market. One of yours is called curled up in your lap sleeping. Oh, Yeah, I don't know. My cat was just in here and he was eating because I heard him. And I don't know where he went after that. I don't know if he's on the couch sleeping because I can't see. Or if he went outside again. Probably. Usually at this time of the night he's like roaming around outside because <laughs> like we live in a fairly quiet area especially at night so he likes going like to the neighbors and everywhere else that he's not supposed to be especially if the weather is nice which today it has been fairly nice so he likes being outside for most of the night and then he'll come in at like 1 a.m and sleep <laughs> So I'm gonna have her, let's see, can I just, okay, so I can just drag stuff from my inventory. I'm gonna put that there. I'm going to have her mix some iced tea 
because I want to show you guys how like how profitable that can be. So I'm going to just drag the stuff from the tray into the food store's inventory and pour some more. Freeze, 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 bird cat. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And I just I need to like wipe my nose really quickly because yeah, like I said, still kind of sick, and my nose is very runny. <laughs> So let's just put all of that in the little food stall. And I think, yeah, she could probably open it. So let's start the food sale. Okay, so she has stuff out here. So iced tea. And iced tea is already worth 40 simoleons a glass. And we're on 0% markup. So if I were to up this to maybe like 50%, I'm going to show you guys. But let's see. So waffles, like a single plate of waffles, is 3 simoleons. Pumpkin spice waffles are 5 simoleons. And I'm going to guess that is... So I don't need them to be... Because vanilla cupcakes is 3. And the single one is 3 as well. So I don't need them to be single servings. I can put the whole serving... Like put the whole like pizza on the table or put the whole like plate of waffles on the table and they'll buy single servings that is cool like i didn't i wasn't sure about that originally so that's really nice but i'm gonna mark up the prices by 50 percent. it's not super expensive so waffles are now four simoleons seven simoleons cupcakes are four simoleons and iced tea is 60 simoleons so, she's gonna sell a hell of a lot of iced tea. <laughs> like, I really think, until she can make some of the, like, fancier recipes, until her cooking is, like, a lot better and she can make fancier recipes, she's really gonna sell a lot of iced tea. <laughs> she's basically gonna have, like, a lemonade stand, I think. Oh, these trees are very, very thirsty. I'm gonna have her water those afterwards. And he just heard something that is barking at. Yes, they will, because my plates were all set at the full eight servings. Okay, so that is good to know, because I know in my overview, I had my sim selling a, selling a pizza, and it was like a, a full eight serving pizza. And it only showed that it was, I, it showed that it was selling for like 15 simoleons. Whereas, you know, the iced tea was like 60 simoleons. So I was really confused about why it was so cheap. And then, you know, some, like, it sold and then someone came up and grabbed a serving of it. So I was really confused in my overview. I thought, you know, the game was glitching and someone was eating the pizza when they weren't supposed to. So, yeah, that is really good to know. Let's see if I can v convince Victor... To buy some iced tea because you know your girl needs the <laughs> we need the money victor you're rich buy my iced tea and that also i wonder if that also applies to the drinks thing so if i like put the summer drinks thing over there and like have it full will they just grab stuff off of that and i don't have to have like them on the table i wonder can you buy stuff victor why isn't the game wanting me to, like, actually talk to him? That is so annoying. Whatever. Like, can you just talk to them? Talk to Victor. You haven't tried drinks yet, so you're, so you're confused too? Yeah, I'll make, like, a mental note of it. I don't know. It probably won't matter if I do it now because I already have the single servings. But next time I make... Next time I have her make drinks, I'll see if that does something. If I don't drag them out. Can you buy something? Oh, he did not like that. Someone just bought some iced tea, though. I hate this fame shine from celebrities. It really irritates me. Everyone is buying iced tea. <laughs> like, everyone is buying iced tea, which I am very... Oh, go away. Oh, the paparazzi. 
Although, this would be a very, in real life, this would be a very nice, like, celebrity endorsement type thing. You know, a famous celebrity like Judith Ward visiting our humble little waffle stand. <laughs> it would be very great pub pub publicity in real life. Yeah, definitely very good PR. So, yeah, she's still selling stuff. Judith, would you buy something and not just stand there? You know, if you want to, like, really help out with PR, you could at least buy something. Oh, my soul. If she doesn't buy something, I'm going to cheat to make her leave. Because those paparazzi... Oh, she's not happy. Those paparazzi are irritating me. Like, let's convince them to buy something. <laughs> Why don't you buy something? Or go away. Thank you. Yeah, she's just standing there posing and then complaining about them taking her picture. Like, if you didn't want them to take your picture, don't go outside. Like, either buy something or leave. Thank you. Oh, good grief. Yes, buy something or leave. <laughs> Jeffrey. Why don't you buy something? What was that? What mood did you... Satisfied customer. From selling an excellent quality meal. Cinnamon's, well, Cinnamon's meals seem to be making everyone's day. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I wonder how much food we still have left, though. I mean, there's still... Okay, so someone did buy a waffle. So, like, from this pumpkin spice waffles. Oh, my lord. Everyone is taking their sweet-ass time. I don't know, in my, like, in my overview, I could, like, convince them to buy specific stuff, like I've been trying to do. And I could, like, give them sales pitches and everything. But for some reason, it isn't working now. Which is weird. And a ghost, you know, just bought something and then left. Whatever works. Judith, I swear. If you don't buy something... I'm going to cheat to make you leave because you're cramping my style. <laughs> and these paparazzi, like the camera flashes, are irritating. Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe he just bought her to be supportive. She's not on the road to fame. I turned that off. Okay, so she just made... I like the fact that it gives you a breakdown of what they sold. So, she sold two cupcakes, four waffles, three iced teas, and one pumpkin spice waffle. So, that's nice. That's really nice. I want to see, can I... Judith, Judith, come back. You just gave me some free PR. Please give me an autograph. Yay. There's a reason for this. I don't really care about having Judith's, aut Judith's autograph. I really don't. But... I know these things tend to sell for quite a while. I'm gonna have her get that appraised because currently it's only worth fifty. Right, it's worth forty. It's four hundred. See, this lot is really cute. Yeah, so she. I'm gonna sell Judith's autograph for four hundred simoleons. Why not? She's been annoying me all day with her paparazzi. It's the least she could do. So yeah, this lot is really really cute. I didn't build it. I did modify it a little bit. But it's this Newcrest Marketplace by Simbix Blue on the gallery. It's technically a marketplace lot type, like from the community spaces. But I have it set up as a retail store just because I didn't want to, like, set up all of the other community spaces lots. And then I did modify it a little bit. I added in the harvestable plants. I added in the food stall. This, this area, there used to be a bubble blower, so I added in a food stall. And I just changed out the food stands that, or the food stalls that were already here. I just swapped those out for some ones that I thought fit a little bit better. But that's all that I changed. I also, there was another one of these sales tables inside. I just replaced them. I just replaced it with a counter because I needed to have a cash register. But the original lot is so pretty. I love it. I really want to build something like this. <laughs> If I'm being honest, I am so totally going to take inspiration from this 
Or actually, I'm gonna have her just... I don't know. I'm gonna have her maybe mix some citrus swig up there just for some extra options, I guess you could say. And then, yeah, have her mix that. And then I'm gonna have her start another food sale because, you know. And this is worth 25 simoleons. Okay, so the citrus swig is 25 simoleons even with the, like, price markup. But basically... She's only selling stuff over there now. But that's because I want to save up 2,500 simoleons to have her buy that empty lot over there. And then I'm going to have her actually run a restaurant. But it's going to be like a hybrid. Or I'm going to see if it'll work. If I run, try and run it as like a hybrid restaurant by night, food stall place by day. If that makes sense. Or maybe she'll have like... I'll alternate them. So one day she'll be tending the food stall. And then the other day she'll actually run a restaurant once I have it up and running. Or the other thing that I could do is I could place down all of the necessary restaurant items. Just to get it functioning as a lot. But not open the restaurant yet and just have the food stall there. And then as I make money, we can like build the restaurant up from there with the money that we earn from the food stall. And then once we have it like, not fully complete, but at least like not just being in a big open field, I'll actually open the restaurant. I don't know. I don't know if any of that made sense. <laughs> but where's all my people? Where's everyone? Why are they all over there? I swear if... Is there a celebrity over here somewhere? Who was cooking food? Someone made food over here and... Oh, good. Okay. Magical floating plates. We're gonna ignore that. We also have some harvestables over here, which I am gonna grab because orchids are worth a hell of a lot of money. Definitely a good idea. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and... <laughs> I am gonna go through and cheat these plants. Just cheat, like, their moisture levels so that they don't die. Because I don't feel bad about doing this because they're not my Sims' plants. They're just on this lot. And apparently no one is tending to them. And I don't want my Sim to waste time. Tending to plants that aren't hers. <laughs> so I'm gonna have her... I'm just gonna cheat that. While in the background she is still selling stuff. And... Yeah, so... Restaurant wise, the first thing that I think we need to get is... A, the lot. Because, duh. We... It won't help us much if we have everything else, but not the lot. So that's the first thing we... Like, big thing that we need to save up money for. And the other thing, I kind of want to save up first. I think we might already almost have enough money. I'm not sure how much the... I'm not sure how much the food stands cost. The food stalls cost when you buy them. But I think that's the first thing that I want her to buy is a food stall. So that we don't need to keep coming to this lot to sell stuff. You know, because currently... This is the only community lot where I have one of these food stalls placed down. So if she has one in her inventory, she can just... I can just have her take it wherever. Because the only thing with this lot is... Because it's a retail lot, it doesn't automatically attract all that much people. Because there's technically nothing on sale. Like, it's set up as a retail lot, but there's nothing for sale apart from the food that she's selling maybe if i set some other things for sale it might help i don't know maybe if i put some art up on these maybe if i go in and put some art up on this and then i don't know how that would work realistically but anyway but if i have her if i give her her own food stall we can give it a name we can you know do all of that stuff and then also I could just take it to like San Myshuno Park and set up there. Or set up where I know there's usually a lot of people. 
So it doesn't appear like anyone... Let's see if I can convince her to buy. Okay, so the drinks don't work if you don't have them in the inventory of this thing, I don't think. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna put these in this thing's inventory and see what happens. Someone just bought an $8 Pumpkin spice waffles, I think. Ooh, they're buying my iced tea. Yes, buy all of the iced tea. <laughs> buy all of the iced tea. Because, yeah, it, it looks like... Yeah, see, it's 198 simoleons for the drink tray. I don't want them to buy the entire drink tray. Like, I don't want them to buy the entire drink tray. Okay, so now the sales pitch is working. Yes! See, stuff like that. So once she has her own food stall, I can have her travel to different lots and maybe sell different things in different places. Like I could have her maybe go to, maybe like Oasis Springs and have her sell only ice cream and lemonade because money. And go have her go to Brindleton Bay, where she sells maybe like cupcakes and waffles only, or you know stuff like that. Because obviously you could sell anything on this. It doesn't need to be these items. You can have her sell like freaking roast turkey if you wanted to. Maybe I'll have her like. <laughs> I'll have her. We're we're coming up on harvest fest almost. So maybe on Harvest Fest, instead of celebrating, because she doesn't have a family, she doesn't really have any friends. So maybe on Harvest Fest, I can have her make a bunch of turkey and faux turkey <laughs> and have her go and sell turkey. <laughs> we can do that. Selling specific items for different worlds. Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, sometimes, well, if we're having like, if we're selling stuff on our own restaurant lot, for example, like our own little farmer's market restaurant space. We can just sell whatever I feel like making. Or if we're coming here for a day, maybe we could say like every Saturday she goes to the farmer's market and sells stuff there. She made 194 simoleons. Two vanilla cupcakes, one waffle, three pumpkin spice waffles, two iced teas and one citrus swig. So, you know, not bad. I'm going to have her clear this because it's already 8 p.m. And then I'm going to have her... I want to have her go around. None of these are ready for harvest, I don't think. No, they're not. But I know some of the things over here were ready for harvest. So, I'm going to have her go harvest the lily. Uh, that's not ready for harvest yet. Dang it. That's not even grown. Fantastic. She says very sarcastically. And I don't think there's anything else in this neighborhood. This is so... Here's something. Bluebell, but also not ready for harvest. Okay, that helps me not at all. Let's see. Yeah, no, I can't see anything else. I mean, I could have a go fishing again. That's the beauty of these, like, rags to riches and, you know, legacy challenges. Your sims end up with the most random collection of skills. <laughs> because to actually earn money at the beginning, you just need them to, like, you need them to just do whatever they can to make money. You can't be picky. So I'm going to have her run down here, eat the cupcake really quickly, because she has some left over. And then I'm going to have her go fishing. <laughs> so, you know, she had a cupcake for dinner at 9.30pm. That's fine, you know, that's fine. Sometimes you have to do what you have to do. And now she's going to stand here and fish for a while. <laughs> I want to see if I can get her to catch at least one fish. Siobhan? Oh, she wants to go to Ghost Night. No, we're not going. I don't know what I'm going to do about her social, though. Because her social sucks. And 
it doesn't seem to ever really get any better no matter what i do she also called the tetra not worth much but okay and she really needs to go home <laughs> like she really needs to go home maybe oh i have activities i have activities like i have a deep indicos activity mod so maybe she can like i don't know it's 11 p.m what could you do at 11 p.m <laughs> let's have a go to the theater oh she caught a cow plant berry let's have a go to the theater i wonder if that will i don't think that costs anything though I'm gonna pretend it does. I'm gonna take off like 30 simoleons if, you know, it doesn't do it itself. But I'm having a go to the theater so that she can get her needs up a little bit. Like her fun need and stuff. And yeah, it did cost. It cost her 26 simoleons. Okay, so that's good. But I want her to, like, I want her to plant the cow plant berry. But to do that, she needs space to plant it. So like, I don't know. Because you can sell the cow plant berry just as is, and it's 180 simoleons. But I know that if you plant it first, if you plant it first, water it once. So that it's basically just like sprouting, almost. Then it's worth like 450 simoleons. So obviously, you know, that's definitely more economical. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to do that. And then I'm gonna see if... So to, to do that, I'm gonna have to have her get a plant box. Which sucks a little bit. But if we have to, we have to. So I'm gonna have her get a plant box. And then I, I could probably like keep it. But to do this, I'm going to... First off, turn on all my cheats because I don't know why they weren't on. I'm going to turn on debug. And see, this is a handcrafted one. It's only 35 simoleons, which, yes, it's a little bit cheaty. No, I don't care. <laughs> she just came from a farmer's market. We can pretend that, you know, she bought it there. Like... I also wanted to check the. I also wanted to check the. What the food stall food? I keep calling it like a food stand or a food stall. I know it's technically a food stall. It's five hundred and eighty-five, so we're gonna get that. And I also. Uh, yeah, she's gonna have a cow plant in the bedroom just really, really quickly. I'm gonna. Like, have her plant it, water it, and then I'm going to sell it. <laughs> because it's... I don't want my sims to get eaten. But I do want the money. So, which one do you guys think she should, she should get? We could always change it up a little bit. You know, depending on what we're selling. Or at least, maybe depending on what season it is, we could change up the food stall. But I'm really liking either this blue or this kind of like pastel one. So what do you think? Blue or pastel? Blue or pastel? Because at I know at the like little farmer's market thing, the blue one, okay, blue one it is. <laughs> So she's gonna get that, and now we have like 300 simoleons. Blue one, okay. Now we have like 300 simoleons left, which is nothing. But she's going to... Yeah, let's change the business details and pick a little icon. What icon do you guys think? I mean, it's not going to change anything on the stall itself. So... I think I'm gonna... I really want to go with this one with like... I don't know, it kind of looks like blueberries or whatever. So I think I'm going to go with that one. And then we need, a, we need a name. Squid. The squid. What squid? Oh my word, the squid. 
the squid. <laughs> we could go with the squid. Why not? But now we need a name for this. Now, I'm not great at coming up with names. So, yeah. For reference, her name, like the Sims name, is Cinnamon Hot Pepper. That's actually from a book series that I absolutely adore. Where there's like this family, the Hot Peppers, and all of the kids' names starts with the letter C, and they're all food related. So we have cumin and cinnamon <laughs> and cayenne. <laughs> so cinnamon by the sea. Okay, yeah, that could work. I don't know, yeah, that could work actually. Cinnamon by the sea. Or we could go with like cinnamon's hot treats, like cinnamon hot pepper. That's perfect. Cinnamon by the sea. <laughs> okay, we'll go with cinnamon by the sea. We can always rename it later if I can spell. Cinnamon by the sea. <laughs> so yeah, now it has a little name. I don't think it even pops up. Oh, it does. It says rename. But it doesn't really do anything. It's just like... It's just a nice thing that you can do. Now, I'm not going to have her, like, do anything with this stuff because it's already spoiled. Yeah, I think all of this... Oh, that has 10 hours left. Does it? Yes, it does. Fantastic. So, she can... Yeah, she's saving it. You suck at names. <laughs> yeah, I suck at names too. You're not alone. So I'm not going to have her, like, I don't know, like, resell any of this stuff, I don't think. Maybe I'll have her resell the, like, the drinks. Purely because they're expensive to make. Like, the iced tea was really expensive to make. So I will have her resell those. But, you know, the food I'm gonna have her keep in her fridge, just because that means she doesn't have to cook for herself. And also, if I keep cooking for, like, making stuff for this food stall, she'll obviously end up, you know, constantly up upping her cooking skill, which is great. Why did you... Oh, you bugger. Just germinate! Why were... Oh, and she's passing out. Fantastic. You're a Virgo and a smart... <laughs> So it comes easy and easily for you. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm a Virgo rising, but I suck at naming stuff. Or at least a lot of the names that I tend to come up with aren't exactly YouTube friendly. So, yeah. Let's see if it, it'll germinate if I move it. And it doesn't want to. Wonderful. So we're just going to sell it like it is. Still 180 simoleons. That's fine. Let's please be able to plant the freaking lily. Please tell me that works. It does. Fantastic. Go water it and go pass out because you're really, really tired. <laughs> okay, so I do want to move this back to her room. Because I don't want it to just be in the middle of the living room. That seems a little weird. I also want to get rid of that very awkward corner <laughs> because that just irritates the actual shit out of me so yeah we're gonna just do that the most basic renovation ever but if it works it works so we'll just do that you can go to bed I also should probably save my game because I haven't saved in a while I should probably see if I can set up some sort of, like, save command or something. Especially for when we're actually playing the game. So that you guys can remind me <laughs> to save. <laughs> because that's something that I suck at remembering. 
I always remember where I, when I'm building. I never forget to save when I'm building. Your game is vanilla, but you don't have the patience to play rags to riches. <laughs> yeah, no, like, usually I, I give up on rags to riches. Usually. But I figured, you know, because normally when I play rags to riches, it ends up just being too easy. Especially if I'm not, like with this one, I'm giving myself the, like, guidelines. What did, oh, she got earbuds. Yay. Usually I give myself the guidelines of, you know, what am I saying? Usually I don't give myself guidelines, but with this one, I'm, I, I've told myself that she can't just go to a museum and do 20 paintings and then suddenly have all the money that she needs. You know, she's not allowed to make money from like painting or gardening. So I, I could go in and have her start gardening like crazy and make a lot of money, but I want to do it specifically with the food stalls and restaurants and I want her to save up the money to buy the lot for the restaurant and to build it and all of that stuff. So it's making it harder for myself, but I think that's going to keep it interesting. Also, her like, I think her fuse box is about to die, which is not great because she needs power to be able to cook. <laughs> so yeah, before that happens, I'm gonna, once she wakes up, she's, she's actually asleep really, really late. But I, I did have her stay out fishing until like 1am, so, you know, fair enough. But she's gonna use the toilet. I'm gonna have her base. No, I can't afford stuff like that right now. Stop calling me. I'm gonna have her try and fix it herself. Because, yeah, her power did just die, I think. So, she's not in the best of moods though i'm gonna have her eat something first <laughs> and she's having some leftover pizza yet again because why not oh her power hasn't died okay but i'm gonna have her eat and then try and fix that yeah best is a menace i'm gonna have a try and fix that if she ends up shocking herself once i will call the landlord because i don't want her dying on us <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna sit and wait for her to finish her food yet again. <laughs> okay, so try and fix that. I hate that sound. Okay, please, please don't die, please don't die, please. Uh, it's not working. Not working. I wanted to go and meet Penny though. So go politely introduce yourself to Penny Pizzazz. Are you gonna do it in your underwear? Yes, you are. You feel so bad for her with that little chair and body <laughs> outline. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's true. Maybe at some point we can get her a nice rug or something. Yeah, she can like romance enthusiasts. Why not? It seems like she's... Confess attraction? Excuse you? That that interaction, by the way, never works. Ever. So, even if your sims both like each other, that's that interaction still never works. But maybe she can go over... Maybe today could be like an off day for her. So she like works one day and then the next day she doesn't. At least at the beginning while we're like finding our feet. And she just got a growing closer from quality time. No, I'm not in I'm not in Europe. You're from Zurich. Yeah, no, I'm I'm from South Africa. <laughs> I'm from SA. It's okay, once she's doing better. Yeah, once she's doing better, she'll, you know, look back on her humble beginnings. Exactly. But I'm gonna have her go and... 
<laughs> I'm going to have her go and complain to the landlord really quickly. Maybe later tonight we can go over to Penny's house. Maybe we'll like... Maybe we can bring Penny some... Um, maybe we can bring her some like either waffles or we could bring a pizza. We could bring Penny a pizza and like watch the TV season premiere at her house. Penny, don't come in here. Don't come in here. Don't see our little... Like, don't come in here. Penny. Yeah, see? Go home. Go home. <laughs> Your hubby loves South Africa. You're originally from the States. Oh, that's cool. It's football team. We don't have anyone in the foot on the football team. Go f yeah, it's broken. It's broken. Will you fix it? Jeez. Clean out the spoiled food. Yeah, she needs a friend. And I mean, she has Siobhan. But Siobhan doesn't live in San Mychino. She lives in Windenburg. So she can call her. But having Penny right next door. Probably a good thing. And this way, we can pretend. What are you doing? Stop freaking out. He's fixing it. Leave it. <laughs> But yeah, this way, we, you know, we have an excuse. We have an excuse to use Penny's TV, basically. We have an excuse. We can say, like, hey, we're, we're bringing over pizza or whatever. So yeah, let's have her make some pizza. I can't remember... I can't remember if Penny is a vegetarian. So I'm just gonna have her make a margarita pizza because it is vegetarian safe and we'll just, like, we'll play it safe that way. What are, what's up with you? Oh, she's, yeah, she was just stressed out about that. It's fine. You'll, you'll, it, it's done. It's fixed. Get over it. <laughs> and, yeah, also, this place, you know, still has the filthy, like, filthy and grody lot challenges. So, you know, it's not the best. But, yeah, like, oh, you have a TV. Sweet. Like, We'll pretend that Penny hasn't been inside our place. Because I didn't technically have Cinnamon invite her in. She kind of just came in on her own. So we'll pretend that Penny hasn't seen our place yet. So, you know, she doesn't know that we don't have one. We can just pretend that we're being neighborly and we're bringing her, like... We're bringing her some pizza and stuff. And this, bla this mixer is just flinging vegetables all over the place. Also, she's making waffles again. She's making waffles again. But it's poor quality. Why is it poor quality? The pizza better not be poor quality. Oh, it's not. It's great. Veggies are normal. That's fine. Why are my waffles poor quality, though? I don't want poor quality waffles. That's sad. Collect it. We're not selling it. That's also something that I th that I think we're gonna like implement as a general rule. If whatever she makes is poor quality, yeah, like this freaking waffles, I'm not going to sell it. I'm not gonna sell waffles and stuff like that if it's poor quality. And I feel like that's just like yeah, we can't have Peggy Penny judging her already. So let's go over to Penny's place. It's like 7 p.m. That seems like a... It seems like a reasonable time. A reasonable time to have, you know... A friend come over. We can watch... The premiere of... Whatever is actually playing. Ooh, stretchy. I've been live for like two hours and it so does not feel like two hours. Okay, so Penny is magically just taking out the trash apparently. We don't even have a trash can though. <laughs> I just realized we don't have a trash can. Also, Penny, your apartment is sad. For someone that's supposedly a celebrity, this is just sad. This is depressing. I'm fixing this. Her apart- Wow, what am I doing? 
Okay, I forgot that my... <laughs> I forgot that my hotkeys were... <laughs> yeah, the game makes time go very fast. It does. I forgot my, what my hotkeys were and I just switched to a different streaming screen. My bad. I'm looking for a room. Oh, we can filter by room size? That is a new thing for me. Also, filtering by room type. I don't remember that ever being a thing. But great. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I really want to... I know I have a... I know I have a new apartment for Penny. I know that for a fact. And I just need to find it. <laughs> That is the apartment that she's currently living in. Yeah, it does seem new. I know that when they 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 did mess up the gallery quite a bit with, you know, removing the news thing and we can't see our like downloads and following counts anymore and stuff like that. But it does seem like they've updated some things. I mean, I haven't seen any changes in like filtering for lots or filtering for households but it does seem like they updated that like the room filter you started playing the other night at nine and didn't realize the time it was fine <laughs> yeah that has happened to me so much it's actually embarrassing yeah that is actually a little bit embarrassing it's happened to me way more often than i like to admit but okay, so this is Pinecrest. Where is... That is not the one. I know that, isn't it? Opposite artists? Nope, arts quarter. I need to go through all of my freaking apartments right now. So this is going to take a hot second, I think. What is this? I don't know why I did that, but okay. <laughs> there are so many apartments and like ja random rooms in here. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've definitely been there before too, like way more often than I'd like to admit. Okay, so this is the fashion district. It's the 1312. Okay, so this is the one for Penny's apartment. So, remember Industrial Loft one? And then I know for a fact that there's another one that I did that is specifically for Penny. That I specifically built for her for my save file. But of course, because now that I'm looking for it, I won't find it. Oh, here it is. Here it is. And that is... So much better once it places. But of course it's going to glitch out. Oh you absolute. Let's do that again. Because it didn't delete the original stuff. Now I need to find it again. <laughs> Where is it? Celebrity apartment. Star Wars apartment. Industrial. Okay, so it was after this. I know that. Roommates, roommates, 100 baby. I swear. There we go. So yeah, I think this is the apartment that I have Penny using in my save. I think. And then I just need to put... <laughs> I need to put the walls back because, you know... Apartment uploading and all of that stuff. Make sure that we have all of the necessary walls. That isn't the correct wallpaper. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, so just fix that. Fix the bathroom. Yeah, there we go. And I think that's everything. I don't know why this is different anyway 
I think this might have originally been a brick wall all the way around. Or, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna do that. Otherwise, it will irritate me. <laughs> much better. Yeah, see, this is much better. Now I need to save my game. For reasons. Your hobby is in Greece, Greece teaching a medical course, so you had time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've pulled all-nighters way more often than I'd care to admit. To be honest. Like, I used to have a, like, absolutely horrendous sleep schedule. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a lot better for Penny. She has her, like, streaming setup, which, you know, I will even... I will even, perhaps, see if I can... I wonder... I'm gonna cheat and buy these add-on components for her. Just because I feel like she would have them. So, help me remember that our money is on 516 simoleons. Because I'm just going to add, like, a buttload of money right now. Buy her, her like, extra stuff. And then put our money back down. 516. See? Now it actually looks like she has like a proper, like, proper, like, internet personality space, you know? Much better. You have a weird glitch with a new update. Visit visiting Sims who are not cooking spontaneously burst into <laughs> Another one is one of my ranch hands turned into a turned into a block of ice and died. I'm sorry. I know glitches like that are very very annoying, but I can't help but laugh at that. That sounds like both irritating and also absolutely hilarious. It's just it's one of those glitches where like yes, it's irritating and annoying. But also, like, come on. <laughs> and she's like, oh, Penny, this is nice. You don't have any roaches or anything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly, you know? You don't have any roaches or, like, rats waking you up at 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> you were so confused. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can imagine. Like, that is so weird sounding. Now, this Penny looks... Her outfits are sad. It's only employees. Oh, that is weird. So if your Sims have, like, a hired employee... Oh, that is strange. Yeah, that's very strange. <laughs> but yeah, so, like, this Penny's outfits kind of suck. Because she's not... Why are you... Come over here. It does work. I mean, I just had my sim walk in here. So what the hell is your issue? Come inside. Oh my good. Penny. Are you broken? The maid caught fire too. <laughs> okay. So you guys see this? Like, I don't know what is up with these sims. Because my sim is walking everywhere she needs to. But Penny is not. So, I'm gonna grab my pizza. I'm gonna go home. Because, you know, we love a loading screen. And then hopefully when I load back in, Penny will be fixed. Because if not, I'm gonna cry. Or I could be really extra. And actually replace Penny. I could replace Penny. Do you guys want me to... I'm going to save again as well. But do you want me to replace Penny with my save file one? Where she actually has the proper skills and career and doesn't look like EA made her. 
I've had glitches before because my game is mod CC free. You're gonna download a ton of mods now? Yeah. I mean, if you have the glitches already, why not just download mods? Like, why not? Like I'm saying, like, my game... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you want me? Okay, you want me to... Okay, so we're gonna do that. But like, for some reason, this save right now, just since I've been playing it, and I haven't really played it before this. The shade? Yeah, the shade. I don't mind saying that. Because... Like, I love the Sims team. I really, really do. They're some of the best developers. They're some of the most passionate developers as well. But they will also tell you that, especially a lot of the earlier Sims. So not so much the, like, recent pack Sims. But a lot of the earlier Sims and builds as well, they've said this, are just really bad. Like, come on. Like... Either the Sims have really unrealistic yeah, body types. Like, come on, look at Penny. Her waist... Okay, her waist isn't so bad. But if you look at, like, Candy Bear, for example, from Windenburg, her waist is physically impossible. Like, it's not possible to have a waist that small. And the reason that she has a waist that small is because they made her look good in, like, her one everyday outfit and they didn't create her like as her as a standalone they created her with that outfit in mind almost like they made it so that she looked good in that specific outfit and didn't pay attention to the rest of it so like stuff like that they some of them are just bad <laughs> some of them are just bad now i need to find where is Penny? Let's see. What am I doing? And I hope I'm spelling her name correctly. I am. <laughs> I always misspell pizzazz for some reason. Here we go. I think this is the newest version of Penny that I have. Although... I might have changed some things. I think I changed some things after I uploaded her. Because I uploaded her in 2019. And I know for a fact I've gone in afterwards and updated her again. For my save, but we're just gonna go with this version. It's fine. It's still better than the EA one. <laughs> I'm an old school simmer. From back in the days when we used to chat with Will, I was, a, I was a sim master during The Sims 2 and 3. Sims 4 isn't as interesting for some reason. Oh, yeah, I don't remember that era. I'm also not going to set... Yeah, I'm going to set his uh, characteristics. So, she'll be hot. She'll like hardworking sims, oh, yeah. funny sims... She can like romance enthusiasts and spirited sims, but she won't like argumentative or ambitionless sims. I don't think she would like that. Hi, cat lover. No worries about being late. How are you doing? We're currently just giving Penny a little bit of help because I've decided that she's going to be one of my sims' best friends, so she needs help. But yeah, so like... I used to play... I've played The Sims since The Sims 1. So I use, I've i been playing the game since The Sims 1. All of that stuff. I've played all of the games since 1, 2, 3. And... But because of where I live, I feel like... She's cute. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... I'm basically blindly going through this. Like... I'm blindly going through this and just giving her a bunch of... <laughs> I'm just giving her a bunch of things that I feel like she would have and like what she would like and what she wouldn't like. And just like, I feel like she doesn't like cooking. And maybe that's why they get, they become such great friends. It's because she doesn't like cooking. <laughs> and I'm also going to give her some extra traits. I hate the fact that they move around so much 
but she's gonna be... Yeah, she's gonna be self-absorbed, I'm sorry, but I feel like because she's a celebrity, she's going to be self-absorbed. Like, it, it's just gonna happen. And I also feel like she's gonna be an overachiever. Because... Oh, and she, she wasn't a vegetarian. Yeah, she's being so dramatic. But yeah, so these are her outfits, her formal... What was that? Her athletic sleepwear, party outfit, swimwear, mm. hot weather, cold weather. And I feel like I keep picturing the version of her that I have in my game right now. Like in my save right now. And I know I haven't uploaded that version of her to the gallery because I've gone in and changed some of her stuff since this makeover. Come through Penny. <laughs> Thank you. But I really want to change up her hairstyle. I feel like this... I almost said renovation. Yeah, this renovation of, Pe of Penny. <laughs> I tried to keep close to her original one. Whereas the version that I currently have in my save file, I decided to throw that idea out of the window because I didn't like it. This was very much 20, 2019 Chrissy giving a makeover to her. Like, I didn't want to change her too much. But I feel like... I feel like she would have, you know, some better... Hmm. At least better hairstyles. Like, would she have ombre hair? Do you guys think she would have ombre hair? That is the question. Because I love that. I love the look of that. But also, I could just give her the regular one. Because I really like that too. And that is a little bit more versatile. Ah. Yes, we're going all out in 2023. You think so? I mean, yeah, I could give her the ombre one. But then I would have to give her that one hairstyle for all of her outfits. And I kind of didn't want to do that because I want to give her a different... You like the ombre hair? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I feel like she could just have the ombre hair or we could go with the regular one and then just give her different hairstyles for her other outfits. Like, I could give her, you know, this one for her formal and all of that stuff. Or I could just go with the ombre and, like, keep it simple. I mean, yeah, let's go with the ombre. Why not? And then I just need to make sure that she has that for all of her outfits because... Otherwise, it would not make any sense. I also really like this hairstyle. Like, this is one of the new ones from the pack, from the Home Chef Hustle pack. But my Sim is wearing this hairstyle. <laughs> like, my Sim has this hairstyle, but the non-ombre version. And it feels like... You, I can still give her a different one for the other outfits. Would you guys be okay with that? Personally, whenever I play, I feel like it kind of breaks my immersion a little bit if my sim suddenly doesn't have. She can always change her hairstyle and color. That's true. Okay, so I can't. I want to give her a different one for a formal at least. Like, where is it? I wanted to give her this one for a formal outfit. And then her athletic outfit. I'm thinking this one. To make it look like she has her hair up. Ah. For her sleepwear, she can just have her ombre. Where is it? There we go. Because I want to give her a bonnet. Because that makes sense. And I'm kind of like leaning towards the leopard print one. Because I want to be extra. <laughs> but yeah, so like I wanted to give her the, the hairstyle from the new pack. But because my sim is already wearing it. I I don't know. I don't want them I don't want them to rock the same hairstyle, you know? <laughs> like my sim had it first, okay, Penny? Like don't be copying my sim's hairstyle. Yours wear wear bonnets as well, yeah. Yeah, she can be someone who changes her hair frequently, that is true. So I'm going to I'm going to make it look like she's changed her hairstyle for a couple of her outfits but not for all of them. 
So like for example the hot weather outfit she wears on here up. But for her cold weather outfit, she just has her normal hair. Or I could give her this one. I, I'm obsessed with this hairstyle. Oh. This is one of the ones from Horse Ranch. And I'm obsessed with it. Yeah, I, I always give my sims different hairstyles based on their clothing as well. But I just, I usually keep it... So like for this one, for example... I would usually, if I have her have, you know, a non-ombre hairstyle for her formal or any of her other outfits, I usually don't give my sims, like, an ombre hairstyle for one outfit and then a regular colored hairstyle for another one because that makes it feel like, you know, they're, like, I don't know, somehow magically dyeing their hair and, like, undying it for a different outfit, if that makes sense. But for Penny, you know, I don't know, she's a celebrity, maybe she can do that somehow. Or maybe the ombre is hidden in this bun, or whatever, I don't know. But, we don't need to be too realistic, okay? It's, it doesn't matter. It's not like we're going to be seeing her in every single outfit either, because she she's not the sim we're playing with. But I also want to give her a little, like, skin overlay. Yes, Penny is that girl. <laughs> like, she would do that. And I want to give her lashes because Penny. And I think that's all I'm going to do with her skin detail-wise. I don't feel like I need to change, like, too much of her makeup or anything like that. I don't feel the need to do that. I'm going to change her blush because what she has on is just sad. Because I, I did this makeover of her before we even had the color sliders. Like, before we even had the ability to change the makeup sliders. Yes, she has hairstylists ready, like, 24-7. Like, she would have, like, her hairstylist on freaking speed dial. <laughs> that is totally a thing that I could see her doing. So I'm just going to change up her, her, like, I feel like we're only ever going to see her in her either everyday outfit or hot and cold weather outfit. I feel like those are the only outfits that we're ever going to see. Unless we invite her somewhere and it has like a formal dress code or whatever. So I'm honestly just going to change up these. And then maybe off camera I'll go through and like update the rest of them because I don't want to spend seven centuries in creator sim. <laughs> because I can do that. I can spend ages in creator sim. Like I know I keep talking about my current household. But I'm playing with a family that I started off with the mom and the dad. And they kind of like combined their household uh, households because they each had kids on their own and then they combined their households they had more kids yeah I might see her in her workout outfit as well that is true but yeah so they had more kids together so at the end of the day I think they had like six children and now all of the kids have grown up so they've all either moved out or are still living in the house or whatever and they all have partners some of them have children, but they also have, like, distant family. So, like, the dad has, or, like, had a sister with a family, and her husband has a brother with a family, and it's just a whole thing. And, like, like my sims, my original sim, his sister's husband, so his brother-in-law, had a brother. And that brother's wife also has an extended family. So there's like, there's so many like cousins and first and second cousins and aunts and uncles and every which way you could think of, like just running all over the place. And because I use MC Command Center and also because I micromanage, I have them like, they all have children. The extended, extended family has children. 
and all of that all of those children like my sims know them so i make sure that you know every time they age up they look okay so if like they age from a toddler to a child sounds like your family <laughs> yeah so like i cannot stand it when my sims because they're friends with their extended family and because they i see them around the town and stuff like that i can't have them look bad like just because they've aged up so i will go through every couple of you know hours how depends on how long i'm playing i'll have to go through and like give 17 different sims makeovers and i don't just do their everyday outfits oh no i go through and i do all of their outfits so every couple of days i spend hours in creator so <laughs> only to play for like a day in like real time i'll play for like a day and then suddenly everyone's aged up again and i need to do it all over or they've gone and they've had children and also i go through and i micromanage all of that extended family like all of their kids need to eventually have partners and families of their own so that the game doesn't auto assign those things to them because i don't want my sims family to marry into like a random game generated family and then end up having like in-laws with names that i cannot pronounce and that just I, I can't so i go through and i change up their like partners and <laughs> it is a whole thing what lifespan do i play on you play on long i play on normal i i i cannot play on long i i've tried playing on long before but every time i play on long i lose interest in a family because it, I lose interest in The Sims because I don't play a super story-driven game. I, I play kind of story-driven, like if something random happens, I'll go with it, I'll like make up a little story, or I'll like decide on a like like a personality that I want my Sims to have and I'll like come up with a quick little story for that. But otherwise, I don't play story-driven. I play to, like, maybe check out different parts of the game or play with careers that I haven't done in a while or, you know, stuff like that. And because I play like that, I lose interest so, so fast if I play on long lifespan. Because if I play on long lifespan, I'll be on one generation for ages and I'll get bored of that one sim. So I need my sims to, like, start having kids so that i can play with the kids <laughs> if that makes sense you turn aging off until your sims have kids that's fair yeah but like you like for this family for example i started off with two sims i can actually show you guys i always have so many ideas for them and, and get so attached to them so long lifespan allows me to do everything i want with them yeah see that's the thing i have a lot of ideas for my sims as well but I don't want one sim to live out all of those different things. So that's why I want them to like have kids and like so I can play with the kids. You've been playing some of your families for years. Yeah, and no, I see I can't do that. I, I, I get I, I have ADHD. I get bored. I get bored too quickly. But yeah, so I want to show you guys. <laughs> Very random. But this is the family tree. Now, I started off with, if you guys have played in my save file at all, you might recognize some of these names. But I started off with Shane Owen and his wife, Brianna Hyde. Hyde Owen. You definitely get it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, so I had these two sims and they were, I believe, young adults when I started. A little bit on in their young adults, young adult years, which will make sense in a second. Because Shane actually had a daughter called Joe Owen. And I'm going to set him as my primary sim real quickly. But he had a daughter, Joe. From maybe like a pre... He was basically... He was a single dad. 
when he met Brianna. And Brianna also had a daughter. Joe was a teenager when I started. And Kennedy, who is Brianna's daughter, was a child when I started. And then, you know, they fell in love, got married, etc. Combined their families. So starting off, they already had a teenager. They already had a child. And they already had a toddler as well because this is a family that I created for my save. So together they had a toddler called Jalen. So that's kind of like what I started with. That's a fancy looking family tree. <laughs> yeah, I, it's actually it's uh, the My Family Tree app that I downloaded. And it's really, really cool. Like... I was using Plum Tree before this and because the like website is shutting down, I kind of like tried out a couple of different other family tree makers and this is one of the coolest ones that I found because the madness will make sense in a second. But this family, like this family tree has 120 different sims on it. Oh cool, yeah. So there's 120 different sims on this thing. But, yeah, so the family that I started with was the mom, the dad, a teenager, a child, and a toddler. And I did this when Growing Together came out, because I wanted to play with the Growing Together gameplay. And I didn't want to start from scratch with a family that didn't have any kids, because I knew that if I did that, I was going to lose interest before the kids were actually born. It's called My Family Tree. I can see if I can grab a link really quickly. My family tree app. Wow, I cannot spell. My family tree app. Aha. Here we go. So I downloaded it from this site. Where is my chat? There you go. And yeah, it's something that you can download onto your computer. So it's not like you need to be online to access it, like with Plumtree. You don't need to access it through your browser. You can do it like it saves a file. I can literally go and like open a file. Whoops. Yes, I want to save stuff. But this is my Owen legacy. But my pleasure. But I also have, yeah, see how long it takes to save. And that's because it's so big. But I have like a Bachelor Legacy, I also have a, <laughs> a Valentine Legacy, that's kind of like my like supernatural one because I'm playing with aliens and vampires and stuff. But yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> but yeah, so I did this because of growing together. And they already had Jalen together when I started and their two daughters. But then they went ahead and they had Dante. They also had twin girls, Zuri and Maya. So at the end of the day, they ended up with what? One, two, three, four, five, six children. And each of those children ended up having partners and children of their own. So the fun thing with this is I already had a grandmother for Brianna. I had Joan. And, you know, I made a fake person that she maybe was married to you know passed away etc etc and then you know Shane has a sister Madeline Owen Hale Horse Ranch actually got you interested in playing again yeah I mean I know a lot for a lot of people it did that because I feel like it's because horses was they were so different from anything that we could do already that it kind of just made people like interested to see, you know, what they could do with it, if that makes sense. But yeah, you need to start a supernatural family. Yeah, I started, I didn't intend to have it be this like big supernatural save. <laughs> I started playing the human enough challenge. Basically where you start off with an alien who's kind of like trying to learn human customs. And I completed that challenge and then just kept playing. So I had I had my alien sim called Celestria Valent no Calliope Celestria. 
marry into the Valentine family in my save file, who's a family of like alien and vampires. And from there, it kind of, again, just spiraled into this big, like, <laughs> micromanaging extended family of the extended family kind of thing. So, yeah. <laughs> but they also had a lot of kids, so, you know. But Shane has a sister, Madeline, who's married to Jackson Hale. They have two kids, Quincy and Adelaide. And then Quincy... Oh, they also have Phoebe. No, they don't have no, they don't have Phoebe. Phoebe is married to Quincy, and they have, as you can see, four children, two of who are twins, and then two younger ones. But Jackson also has family, so he has a brother, Harrison Jensen Hale, who <laughs> who is married to Naomi Jensen Hale. But they have three kids. They have Lauren, Dion, and Catherine. Lauren has one child. Dion is married to Jackson. They have four, no, three kids. They have Robin and Rosa, who they had as like science babies, but they ended up being twins. And then their oldest, Kaylin, who I believe they also had as a science baby. I think, I think she was also a science baby. Or she was adopted, but I think she was a science baby. And then they have his husband, Naomi, <laughs> has a brother, Dwayne, who also obviously has a wife. And he, ha <laughs> he has twins, Phoebe and Phoenix. Phoebe is like married back, Quincy. Phoenix is married to Kira Conahan, who's again another one of my save sims, whole thing. They also have Michelle, who married into the Landgrabs, somehow. But Daniel Landgrab is... I know it says he's 8, but that's just because I have, like, real-life ages entered. Obviously, it doesn't... It's meant to be an app for, like, tracking real people. So, like, realistically, currently in my game, he's a young adult, or he's an adult. So, obviously, he wouldn't be 8. But that's just because I put in random, like, real-life ages. So, technically, he was born in 2015. He wasn't. But, yeah, so, they have one child. But he's technically the son of Malcolm Landgrab. So, yeah, they have a son. <laughs> like, <laughs> Phoebe has the twin girls another do and another two kids. Yeah, this family tree is insane. It, it is ins It takes me a lot to keep up with it. It really does. <laughs> but then Phoenix has triplets. So they have McKenna, Nathan, and Orion. And then they have a little girl called Persef Persephone. And I named them like M-N-O-P <laughs> for their names. <laughs> but like, as you can see, I'm like... I... Like, even this is their extended, extended family of my main family, okay? And they have significant others who also have family. <laughs> that, like, leads back to the Goths. Because the Goths have expanded in my safe, thanks to MC Command Center. So it's not just Cassandra and Ale Alexander. You have also have Kelsey and Belle Goth. <laughs> but, like, Carter Ryan is the son of Cassandra and Kevin Ryan. But Kevin Ryan also had a relationship with Joe Owen, who's the oldest daughter of my main family. They had... She's, date, she's married to Jeb Harris, but when she was a teenager, she had a thing with Kevin as well, because she's not the greatest person. I'll just put it like that. Her traits aren't great. She's like non-committal and like stuff like that. She's in the criminal career. So basically when she moved out with Jeb when she was a young adult, she had a thing with Kevin, got pregnant, had Alec, Owen, Harris, who Kevin never really knew. Like he was a very much absentee dad. Like he was a deadbeat dad. Not good. He's non-committal as well. So like 
not a good idea. But Jeb kind of like adopted Alec and like raised him as his own, stayed with Joe, all of that stuff. And then they had a liar together. And then they got married as, I believe they got married as adults, like just before they turned into elders. They were like engaged just their whole lives. <laughs> but Alec has a partner and like it's a whole thing. Like, he's dating Stevie Roca, who's the daughter of Lilith Vitor, of all people. And Paola Roca, who's dead by now. Because, you know, human, vampire, whole thing. And, like, it's a whole mess. It's a whole mess. <laughs> but also... This is bad. But, Kevin. Kevin... He... He dated Joe first, okay, and then she never, she, she, they didn't never wanted to commit to each other at all. And then, <laughs> okay, so yeah, so he dated Joe first. They never wanted to get together because they're both non-committal, so it would have never worked. But then the game went ahead. And after they already had Alec together, the game went ahead with MC Command Center and decided to have him marry Cassandra. So <laughs> the game got them married. I didn't do that. The game did. So I just went with it. So then they, he married Cassandra. And he and Cassandra had Carter Ryan and Antonia Ryan. And then Cassandra went ahead and died. <laughs> or actually... No, she didn't die. She, they had them together. He cheated on her again with some random. She caught them. So I had them break up, split up, get divorced. And I have, I, I play with Lumpinos, like, um, like romance and some, romance and pregnancy overhaul mod, I think is what it's called. So I had them break up. She got custody of the kids because of course she did. She's the one with the great career and all of the money and like the family and stuff. <laughs> family money and stuff. So she got the kids. And then freaking story progression. <laughs> Neighborhood stories. Went ahead and killed her. <laughs> so she died. <laughs> so she died. And at that point he wasn't living with them because I had her kick him out. And she was, so you have the goth, well, sorry, I just hit the mic. So you have the goth house, and then next to it, you have that other big, like, EA base game house. She was living there, like, right next to her family home. And she died. But at that point, Carter was already a teenager, so he just stayed in the house with his child sister. Which I thought, you know, probably not the most realistic thing. So I could have either had them move next door back like with in with their aunts and stuff like that who were living next door or i had kevin you know obviously get custody so he moved in with them and now it's just kevin like kind of trying to raise these two kids that he not not that he didn't want them because he the game made them have him you know the game made them happen but he was never a dad to Alec. He does. He like barely knows him. But he has these two other kids that he's just like he loves them, and he, you know, he's now raising them. Which is like he, th this family is a whole mess, and those aren't even the messiest Sims. Like <laughs> this is really bad. So we have Dan Dante, right? He's actually a serial romantic. That is his aspiration. That freaking randomized, by the way, which was annoying, but, <laughs> okay, so, originally, I had him date Flynn, Flynn Ryan, who's Kevin Ryan's brother, he, he, he's one of, like, triplets, I had him date Flynn, and then I realized that because I'm playing with Lumpino's mods, Flynn actually wanted a committed relationship. Dante obviously did not. So they never ended up like actually committing to each other like any of that. 
Flynn actually went ahead when they were young adults, and MC Command Center married him to Jack to an, to like a random townie. <laughs> so you know that didn't work. So yeah, Flynn's married, but then Dante, being the wonderful person that he is, I'll just say it like that. <laughs> Even saying this out loud just shows you how chaotic my game is because he automatically i play with lumpino's mods and then i also play with a certain not youtube friendly mod that enables three hours of the <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> this is the kind of chaos that goes on inside my head that certain mod that YouTube doesn't like made him autonomously do stuff with Maeve Ryan, who's Flynn's younger sister. <laughs> so, you know, he got together with Maeve. And then he also got together with Tony Alvarez. Now, this one happened when i wasn't in the household like i was playing with my main family and he had already moved out so the game did some weird stuff and he got her pregnant she was a random sim that i did give a makeover because you know yikes and he got her pregnant she had nicholas <laughs> and you know they they weren't living together it was just like a random fling they had nicholas then I intentionally had him get Maeve pregnant because I wanted them to end up together. You know, even though he is a little bit of a not the greatest. And, you know, she had Jessica, but they weren't living together. And he didn't want kids. So it was a whole messy, like, thing. And for a while, both of these Sims were, like, single parents, single moms. And now eventually, you know, Tony, in, Tony again, freaking neighborhood stories unalived her so a random family ended up adopting nicholas which i didn't like so i had dante like take custody of him because you know mom died and dad and then <laughs> then i had him move mave and his daughter in as well because maybe you know i figured maybe he's you know had nicholas didn't really know what to do and then asked Maeve to move in because they were still dating. So, you know, he finally moved her in. Pretended like he wanted to take that next step step of getting married, all of that stuff. But only, but really, he just wanted someone to help because he didn't know how to raise a kid. So now he's living with his now wife and his two children who actually don't like each other. They really, they're... They don't have like compatible traits and stuff like that. So they really don't like each other. But he also likes Nicholas a little bit more than Jessica because he had him for longer. <laughs> and it's just the whole thing. And also he still has a romantic bar with his wife's brother. So, you know, it 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 it's a mess. It's a big mess. It's very very messy. <laughs> But that is the kind of chaos that I get up to in my current household. And I think that is why that household is probably... It's probably the family that I've played with for the longest. Because I go that, like... Because I go that crazy with it. Let's just be fair. Let's, let's just be honest. Like... It, it's definitely the family that I've played with for the longest because it is that crazy. <laughs> and I don't have the chance to get bored with them. Because like, if I get bored with the main family, I just go look in on one of our extended family households and suddenly I have a whole fresh, you know craziness to deal with <laughs> so i'm gonna have her go visit the apartment because let's see if oh yeah no it doesn't 
I forgot that I deleted the original Penny. Hello. Hey, baby. The dog is back. I forgot I, de I deleted the original Penny. So now I need to... Now I need to have her get to know the new Penny. Penny 2.0. Knock on the door. And I am going to cheat this because she already knew her. Like, oh crud. I forgot Penny was a celebrity. That sucks. You never knew I played the game this much because I always see you building. <laughs> Yeah, no, see, I don't. I, uh, I I play with them, like I said, for like a couple of weeks. And all of that happens within the span of a couple of weeks. And then I don't touch the save file again for months. Because I started that family when Growing Together came out. And I played with them for a while, maybe like one or two weeks. <laughs> lost interest. <laughs> and then, hello, okay, you're screaming. Why? But yeah, so like, I, I lost interest in them for a while. And then I came back to them, added in a bunch of mods. And then it just... It got... Uh, like... It was all downhill from there, basically. But I really... Why will you not... Ugh. This is so irritating. Yeah, like, I, I don't, I like Penny having, I have her set as a B-lister, because I don't think she would be crazy, like, I don't want her to be like a five-star celebrity. But I forgot that if your sims aren't, like, famous themselves, it's really hard for them to actually get to know celebrities. And because I deleted the original Penny, this is a new one, and my sim doesn't know her. So now I'm going into Penny's household to have her greet my sim. So that they at least can, like, know each other, and then I can cheat the relationship up. Because that is what I was planning to do. I was planning on, like, just having them meet, and then cheating the relationship back up to, like, actually being friends, because that's where they were. And this isn't supposed to be a new penny, it's supposed to just be a made over penny. No, don't, don't flirt the introduction, my bad. <laughs> like, I didn't mind them, maybe. Why did you, ah. excuse you. Hold up. Don't you dare, don't you dare. Don't. Thank you. Jeez, game, hello. Yes, now you know her. Yes, hello, hi. And now you're going to be friends again. Thank you. That's all I wanted to do. Like, I just, I wanted them to be friends. <laughs> I do rotational gameplay, so it helps keep me interested. And because I'm on long lifespan, that's why I've been playing for some years. I play on PC and both consoles. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I only have a PC. I don't have a console. But I just, I don't have the attention span for that. I, I just, I don't. Unfortunately. I, I play rotationally, but I play rotationally in The Sims 2. So I have like a Pleasant View save that I've been playing for years. I had one. I can't remember when I started it. It was, might have been like 2019. Or something like that. Where I started a Pleasant View playthrough. Playing rotationally with all of them. And I got bored of that one. I got bored of The Sims because that was the first time. Hey, Penny. Yeah. Hey, Penny. Can I watch your TV? <laughs> exactly. But, you know, hey, Penny. Can I watch your TV? I brought pizza. Like, <laughs> she did bring pizza. Where the actual... No, switch to her. Yeah, you have it bad. But yeah, so like... I lost interest in that first Pleasant View playthrough because it was the first time I tried playing, like, rotationally, and I don't think I, like, I didn't start it off in a way where I could keep it going, realistically. So I started a new one, and I've been playing that one for years. You tried playing on PlayStation, but I don't like it as much as on PC. 
Yeah, no, I, I don't have a PlayStation. I don't have an Xbox either. But truthfully, I don't think I would like it as much just because of the controls. And the fact that I can't have mods. Like, I physically cannot at this point. I can't imagine playing without my mods. Like, not too much. I could probably play without gameplay mods. Like, specifically gameplay mods. Like, Lumpino's mods and all of that stuff. But, like, MC Command Center and UI Cheats, for example. I can't. I, I just can't play without them. I just, I can't. And I can't build without them either. Like, the tool mod and better build by. I just can't. It's crazy because I started on PC and then when, when I went to console and now prefer, per, prefer playing on console. Oh. I've heard that from some people. But yeah, so they're watching. What are they watching? They're watching Peach is a new orange premiere. But I don't really see how that's what's playing here. This looks like Indiana Jones gone wild <laughs> or something. And Penny is just going to wash her dishes in the sink, as you do, you know, as you do. You're not even on social bunny, so shush. My Sims 1, 2, 3 were loaded with mods. Yeah, see, though, so like, I started playing The Sims 1 in 2004, when I was 7. So, I didn't know that at that point The Sims 2 had released. I just... I didn't know about it. I just I started playing The Sims 1 and then I fell in love with it and got all of the expansions and played that for like a year until like 2005 when I realized like The Sims 2 was out because we didn't have internet back then. Like I didn't grow up having dial up and like at all. Like I didn't grow up with an internet connection. Now she can get up her fun and social. Exactly. So yeah, like, I didn't grow up having an internet connection. We didn't have that. We didn't have anything like that. We didn't have a landline or anything growing up. And I just, I didn't, I didn't get into YouTube. I, at all, I didn't know it was, I knew it was a thing, but I didn't have access to it. So I didn't know things like mods, for example, for The Sims 1 were even a thing. Even for, for The Sims 2, when I started playing that, I didn't know mods for it for that game was a thing. I knew about The Sims, like The Sims 2 Exchange or whatever it was called. Oh, Penny is just going to bed, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go home, I guess. I'll leave the pizza for Penny, I suppose. But she just went to bed. Maybe she has an early day or something in the morning. But night, Penny, whatever. But yeah, so. I didn't know mods for those games were a thing back then. And then Sims 3 came out. I started playing The Sims 3. Again, didn't know mods and CC were a thing because I played it offline. I didn't watch YouTube back then. I didn't have access to YouTube. I think Sims 2 was my favorite because we could create movies with such videos within the game. I made a lot of music videos. Yeah, see, stuff like that. I never knew stuff like that existed back when I played it. I didn't know it was possible because I didn't have access to things like YouTube where I could watch tutorials or you know see what other people created and stuff like that even with The Sims 3 back then I missed out on so much because I didn't have store content I didn't have mods because I didn't know they existed and I didn't watch YouTube, so I didn't see Let's Plays and stuff like that. And it wasn't until The Sims 3, not The Sims 3, The Sims 4 came out that I actually discovered YouTube. I discovered Let's Plays and speed builds and mods and stuff like that. So The Sims 4 was the first game that I really modded and, you know, did all of that stuff with. And then I went back and reinstalled The Sims 2 discovered that obviously you know now that I know about YouTube there's so many mods that I can get for The Sims 2 and I went ham with that like I went absolutely crazy with it and then you know same with The Sims 3 I went back reinstalled The Sims 3 discovered store content mods all of that stuff and 
Yeah. So, it's kind of weird. Because people always talk about, you know, The Sims 2 or The Sims 3 YouTube era. And I'm just sat here like, I have no, like, I, I never watched it back then. Since I've started watching YouTube, because, like I said, we didn't get access to a stable internet connection until The Sims 4 came out. Like, that's when we actually got ADSL internet. We didn't have it before that. We had mobile internet, but it was expensive, and I couldn't afford to, like, play games online. Or anything like it, so... I never had it. I never watched YouTube. I never watched stuff like that. So when I did discover it, I went back, obviously, and started watching, like, Sims 2 Let's Plays. I started watching Sims 3 Let's Plays. Like, old Let's Plays. Like, Star Winxie's Let's Plays. Back then, she was Starlight Sims. I started watching her Let's Plays. I started watching... I'm gonna cheat, like, Cinnamon's needs down, I think, a little bit, maybe... So that she can sleep. Or I'm gonna have her bake some... No, not bake. Yikes. I'm gonna have her cook something. So, yeah. I mean, that's when I discovered those things. You play vanilla, but I love that there's so many ways to play this game. Yeah, exactly. Like, like I said, for years and years, I played... I played The Sims without any mods. For years. I'm gonna have her make some churros, I think. Or I'm gonna have her make some brownies that she can sell. But yeah, so like I said, for years I played... What are you doing? Don't do that. I played The Sims 2, The Sims 3 without mods. Because I didn't know they were a thing. And also I missed out on a lot of actual gameplay. Because I didn't have access to like tutorials about how to do certain things. And all of like the fun things you could do. And... All of that stuff, so... Even building. I never built. I never built houses. I, I redecorated them when I needed them. But I never built them. I never felt confident enough to actually build anything. Okay, so she just upped her cooking skill. And the last time she did that, she immediately started a fire afterwards. <laughs> so I'm saving. Just in case she, decided to, she decides to start another fire. You know? My throat is killing me right now. Like, it's actually killing me. Not fun. But yeah, so like when Sims 3, Sims 4 came out, I discovered YouTube. And through YouTube, I discovered, you know, mods and CC and all of that stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to cheat her energy down. So that she can actually sleep. <laughs> because I wanted I want her to sleep so that it can like I can get to morning. So we still have like 430 simoleons. And I'm go I'm gonna hope. So like at this point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so like at this point I want her to like the main thing that I want to do is save up enough money to buy that empty lot. If we can do that, and before I end stream, I'll be happy, I think. So I'm gonna have her go, and I want- I don't want to just say grab leftovers, because I don't want her to grab the wrong stuff. Let's go and grab some berry waffles. Eat your berry waffles. So, if we can, like, at least just make enough money to buy the lot before I end, I'll be happy. I mean, I can even... Can I do that? I think I can. I can even, like, go in here and look for... Waiter. See, so I can already buy a waiter station. And host. Whoa, I cannot spell. Host. 
How much? 100? Yeah, I can buy that. Okay, so we already have a host station and a waiter station. That's good. So, you know, we already have these items. So once we get the lot, we don't have to worry about buying those. We just need a stove, like one of those chef stations and then some seating. And then the lot will technically be functional. Siobhan. She found a ring in Sergio's bag. Okay, question for you guys. Should Siobhan marry Sergio? Or should I tell her to? I don't know if she'll actually do it. Because the neighborhood stories are weird like that. Should I tell her to say yes? You should really decide for yourself or don't do it. What do you think? Yes? Okay. What is going on? Oh, uh, I think I know what's going on. I, I keep, it keeps sounding like I can hear people, like, not screaming, but cheering or whatever. And I keep wondering what's going on because it keeps waking up my dog as well. And he looks like he'll, he'll like wake up and like look around wondering what's going on. And it's <laughs> I just looked at the time and realized that the spring box are probably still playing the rugby game, like the World Cup. One of the games for it. And I think I'm hearing my neighbors. <laughs> I was I was really confused there for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the pepperoni pizza. I'll grab the brownies. Rugby, yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab all of the drinks as well. Because they they were expensive to make. I'm gonna grab those. And I'll grab those waffles. I could have sworn she had more waffles in there. Did I put the waffles that she made somewhere weird? Or what? I mean, she just made waffles. Like, where did I... She just made some. What did I do with them? Oh, they're in there. Okay, so, yeah, I don't want her to grab the poor quality ones. I want her to grab the good ones and then the other ones, okay. Yeah, so we have some waffles, some pepperoni pizza, and some brownies. <laughs> that's an interesting selection. Okay, that's an interesting selection. But where are we going to go? Where are we going to go sell some stuff? Where usually, where does they usually spawn a lot of people? I wonder, let's go to Windenburg. Let's go to the Hare Square Park in Windenburg. And like set up our food, food stall. I keep wanting to say like food stand and food stall. And then I like halfway through like halfway through it I changed my what I want to say I said I have to go gotta run some quick errands with the hobby it was fun watching you play and share your family oh thank you so so much for coming and stopping by I really really appreciate it hope you have a great rest of your day I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be live anyway like I know I said I wanted to complete I wanted to make enough money like selling i wanted to make enough money to buy the lot but honestly i don't know if i will be able to do that because i like i said i just looked at the time <laughs> i just looked at the time and it's really late so i'm going to i'm going to see Yeah, I hope you have a great week. You're watching me and moderating another chat at the same time? <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's commitment. Like, that's really, that is commitment.
But yeah, no, so of course, the one day that I go to Windenburg, it's freaking cloudy, obviously. Hi, Lisa! Just wanted to pop in and say hi. I really appreciate that. How are you doing? How's your weekend been? So yeah, let's see if she can sell these things. Like, is my... I don't think my markup is up. Let's mark it up 50%. Because now the pizza is seven simoleons, citrus swig is thirty-seven, nine, brownies are only three. Who is this, Dominic? Convince him to buy some citrus swig. Yes, he's buying stuff. But also, I kind of want to. Pour some more drinks. Put them in there. And then I want her to make some iced tea. I know that's expensive. You're used to watching and modding two chats at the same time. Yeah, no, see, I, I could never do that. I don't have the attention span for that. <laughs> You're doing great. Weekend is going by too fast. Yeah, no, yeah, my weekend, it's going by fast, but because yesterday was an absolute, like, nightmare of a week, of a day, like, I was so busy, it was insane. I spent, like, seven hours in town doing grocery shopping, came home, had to unpack everything, clean the kitchen, all of that stuff, and then I kind of just passed out on the couch. <laughs> and then, but the day was nice, the day was a lot more chill, and, like, I just hung out around the house, played some of my current household. Now I'm streaming. Because tomorrow it's back to like... Actually doing work and all of that stuff. <laughs> but I'm glad your weekend has been nice. Yeah, so my iced tea is 60 simoleons. I'm, I kind of want to see if I can mark up the prices a little bit. Like, I'm going to put it on like... What did I just do? Enable auto stock. I wanted to see if I could like mark it up to 75% and then I'm gonna try and like because now the iced tea is 70 simoleons so if I sell like three of those I already have I've already made more money than it costs me to make iced tea so yeah I'm gonna it's a it, it could be a little much but you know I need the money how's the making money going it's going good hen we actually, we've already bought all of the appliances that we need. We got a host station a sh and a waiter station already for when we finally have our restaurant. We actually bought our own food stall as well. So that's good. So yeah, we're, we're making, we're making progress. We're making progress. And I mean, currently we're selling like citrus swig for 43 simoleons a glass <laughs> we're selling iced tea for 70 simoleons a glass and i don't feel even the least bit bad about that also i got a i don't know if you were here for this but i i dumpster dived and got a like i think it was a grim like semi cap semi thing but it was one of the rare ones so it was worth like a thousand simoleons i also got a <laughs> i had judith ward like at one of my sales and she just kept standing there with the paparazzi and everything and i <laughs> i asked her for an autograph and then i sold the autograph so that also helped a lot but yeah so we're really making bank like, seriously, who's this? Bjorn. Bjorn, we have Zoe. Zoe Roca. So, Zoe married Paolo, apparently. That's interesting. She's, like, giving a sales pitch to no one, because she's not facing the front, apparently. That's the thing. Siobhan is our friend, so you'd think that she would buy something from us. Eleanor, we don't have an infant. We don't even have any children. We don't even have a partner. How are we so... Why? 
I know that. I know that's a bug. Like, they know the Sims team know that's a bug, but still, it's just weird. Candy, will you buy stuff? Come buy stuff. Come on, people, buy all of my things. Yeah, everyone keeps getting calls about infants and like. Even in, like, like, even with this, like, she doesn't even have a child, let alone an infant. So, why? Come on, Mila. You're part of the upper crust. Like, buy some of my very expensive iced tea. Someone just bought some of it. <laughs> So like, as you can see, like, I started this off with like 200 or something simoleons. We're already at over, over 700. So we've made at least 500 simoleons in this one sale. That is fantastic. That's actually fantastic. Like, I want, I want more people to buy my iced tea. Buy my iced tea, people. Or pizza. Not worth as much, but... Yeah, they keep buying iced tea. Like. <laughs> so, that's kind of a nice, like... A nice cheaty way of doing this. So, yeah, we made 770 simoleons. And nobody bought waffles or anything. They just bought 7 citrus swigs and 7 iced teas. So, apparently, we're going to do this again. And I'm going to mark up my prices to 100%. Because I don't mind being, I don't mind exploiting these people. Like, I don't even feel bad about it. Not at all. Like, they really like they really like my my drinks apparently you know they're a big seller in windenburg so you know we're making some more come and get them <laughs> come and buy some like incredibly expensive iced tea <laughs> why are you complaining stop talking to him go away yeah, so like they really. I feel like this is such a. I feel like this is such a cheaty way of doing it. Like, I feel like I'm cheating the system a little bit. <laughs> but also, it's a game. It's a game thing. I'm not modding this. Or actually cheating it. It's just the game. Like, yeah, apparently they really like buying drinks. Who am I to stop them? I kind of want to test this out with the... <laughs> exactly! <laughs> exactly! <laughs> exactly! I kind of want to test this out at some point with that drinks tray. From... From Spa Day as well. The one that makes like the sparkling... Sparkling whatever. I kind of want to test it out with that too. And see what I can charge for those drinks. <laughs> because I'll easily... Like if I can... If I see that making drinks are way more profitable... Is like way more profitable than selling food. I will actually set up a restaurant that sells food obviously. And then I'll have like a food stall... That only sells drinks. <laughs> and I'll do that. <laughs> if I notice that makes more money. I'm so doing that. Like I won't even feel bad about it. I wonder what. Like I, I, I'm wondering what. Like obviously pizza is selling for 10 simoleons a slice. Brownies are 4. Waffles are 12. Pumpkin spice waffles. But I figure that if once you get to the higher, like, the higher level waffles, 
and like other items they probably might sell for more i'm guessing anyway but i'm really curious about what stuff like you know lobster thermidor or maybe like roast turkey or whatever would sell for at the food stand especially if you mark mark up the prices that's like i'm really curious about that but we'll probably explore that more next time i think for now i just i want to finish this one food sale food, yeah food sale and i mean we're so close we're at like a thousand one hundred or something and we need 2,500 to buy the... We need 2,500 to buy the lot. Buy my stuff. Spice Festival is in town. No, don't care. Come on, people. Bjorn. Buy some iced tea, will you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Lucas, come buy some stuff. I know you're a kid, but come buy some stuff. Who are all of these children? Who's this? Oh, Nanami. Come buy all of my stuff. No mods and CC? Wow, yeah. Oh yeah, with your... <laughs> with your service sims spontaneously catching fire and freezing. Yeah. I would actually love to see that, if I'm being completely honest. That would be so hilarious. <laughs> I mean, like I said earlier, it must be really annoying. To some extent, especially... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm at the park. So, it makes sense that there would be a bunch of children. And the other sims are just, like, hanging around at the edges of the lot. I'm at the park, so it makes sense why there would be a lot of kids. <laughs> Bjorn, buy some more iced tea. Will you? Will you? He's bought like three glasses already. No. Dang it. <laughs> Dude, he just turned down her like her offer to buy iced tea and then fought it. And now he's waving it at her. Dude. No. Oh, that's gross. Oh, that's so gross. Oh, you nasty. <laughs> okay. So she sold another 750 simoleons. That's not bad. Eight iced teas. One pepperoni pizza. And two citrus sweets. We're doing it again. We are doing it again. Come people. Come buy some more stuff. <laughs> like everyone is just sat with like food and stuff. Come buy some things. Elsa. Elsa. Where are you going? Yay. We are so close. If we have. Okay. Yeah, no, we're, we're probably not going to make. We're probably not going to make it. You just got that phone call. That like. Just when you got in, when we got it, that was the second time this stream that I got, that I've gotten that phone call from the exact same sim. It's just like, it's so buggy. Okay, so like, I don't think we're going to be able to make... Honestly, I don't think we're going to be able to make 2,500 in this stream. Like, I just, I don't think we will. But, you know, at least... I want to take a picture. Because it's me. But at least, you know, we already have our own food stall. That's something. That's progress. You know? It's pro- whoops. It's progress. She looks cute with her food stall. Selling pizza, brownies, waffles and a lot of iced tea. <laughs> pizza, brownies, waffles and iced tea. 
You did a great job. Thank you. Uh, if I can spell. Yeah, I mean, also, this stream was a little bit... I'm not gonna end just yet. I'm gonna wait for this sale to be done because I want to see how much she can make in one day. Because, yeah, I mean, she's made, like... She's made, what? 750... 750... 770... So it's been, what, like... A thousand, yeah. over one thousand, over fifteen hundred. She's made over fifteen hundred simoleons in one day. Like, not a, not even a lot of the careers have you making that type of money in one day. So it's really not bad. And I mean, yeah, she's been out here for a while, but her needs aren't like absolutely horrendous or anything like that. And she hasn't even had to make more food. She just made more drinks. <laughs> because I'm cheating it a little bit. Not cheating, just cheesing it a little bit. And see, they're starting to buy my... So, like... I'm wondering... I'm wondering if... What they buy... Is a little bit more finely tuned... Than we might think. Because people here have really been only buying drinks this whole day. And now that it's night and it's a little bit later, they've for some reason actually started buying more food. <laughs> or at least some food. So I'm wondering. I'm wondering if they are like really thinking about why like it's night time it's dinner time buy food type stuff what do you want Sophia yeah yeah so if you don't have a high cooking skill okay yeah so that makes sense but I mean these f items are excellent quality I mean I I'd understand if they didn't want to buy it if it was like poor quality for example that's why when she made the poor quality waffles, I kept it at home and didn't like bring it to sell because I knew it wasn't going to sell. Or maybe the game is just a little bit like OP <laughs> with the drink tray. Maybe that's just like it's tuned a little bit funny and like that is just a little bit overpowered somehow. I mean, I'm not complaining like at all. I really, really like that. <laughs> I really appreciate the fact that everyone is buying drinks because we're already at like almost 2200 simoleons like we are so so close so close come on people give him a sales pitch I know you desperately need the toilet and all of that stuff Please, man. Please buy some more of my stuff. Siobhan, buy some iced tea. Don't leave me. <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> Don't leave me. Oh, she didn't want to buy it. Why? Did my... Oh, my food sale ended because she is about to pee herself. Fair enough. She still made 772 simoleons. So, you know, you can't complain. I can't complain. I mean, she's so close to making what she actually needs. Like, so, so close. But, yeah, she's only like 300 simoleons off. Barely. My game just froze. Please don't crash. Oh, thank the lord. Let me just save. Because I haven't saved in a while. So yeah, I mean, she didn't really... all. She didn't make all of the money that she needed. But with saying that... I feel like... If I have her go around the spice... Have her go around the, like, Samai Shuno... And maybe gather some, like, 
have her maybe gather some like, um, what do you call them, like posters and stuff. If I do that, if I have her at least just go and gather some posters, chances are she would be able to buy the restaurant. So I'm gonna go to the spice district. We're gonna we're gonna start in the spice district and then work our way like through all of the neighborhoods, just hunting for posters. Because the posters they do sell for a pretty penny sometimes, so it's well worth it, I think. And then we can actually end off the stream with like reaching the <laughs> Reaching the thing that I really wanted to reach was starting a restaurant. And then, also, while you guys are here and we're just sat looking at the loading screen, I wanted to I want to do a shell challenge at some point. And I don't know if I don't know if I want to bolt build it on camera because I don't want it to be big. Oh, it's this it's the spice festival. Is it still running? I'm going to like I'm going to cheat because it's only running until 1 a.m. And I want her to come and pack some stuff into a sack lunches. <laughs> because this is all free food. So I want her to pack stuff into sack lunches. Put it down. Put it in your inventory. Because if it despawns, the food will go with it. Yes, lots of free food and plants. I don't know if anything... Oh, there are some things open. Oh, the festival ends in one hour. Okay, so we can go ahead and like... Grab some... Grab some harvestable. Stop freezing, you dipshit. <laughs> Oh, she's freezing again. She's doing the freezing thing. Harvest. Good grief. I don't know what that bush is. It... Harvest the cow plant berry. Excuse me? Go harvest the cow plant berry. I don't care about anything else. Although blackberries are good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to keep like resetting her. Don't, don't view it. Harvest it. No! Don't leave me! <laughs> don't leave me! I'm... I am so... I feel like I'm loopy. Okay, so I, I got the ones that I actually cared about. So, you know. There's that. Go teleport there. And yes, I'm teleporting her around because she's slow. And I needed to grab some food as well. <laughs> so grab your food. Eat something. And then... Oh, there's some... Oh, she's freezing. Whoops. That's not good. Change your outfit. This is the first time she's actually needed her cold weather outfit. <laughs> okay, so she's eaten something at least. And then maybe... Like... You know, the next time we play with her, <laughs> I can have her go visit Penny to use her TV. Because she doesn't have anything fun to do at home. So she'll gonna, she's going to have to go and visit Penny. <laughs> to like borrow her TV for a bit. Why aren't these posters like, why aren't there any of them? We can go get some snow globes, I guess. But snow globes aren't really worth all that much, unfortunately. I mean, there's dumpsters. We could go dumpster diving. But we all know how she feels about dumpster diving. <laughs> go grab the snow globes. I wish these posters would spawn. Let's go to her home, like, neighborhood and see if it's... See if there are any for us. Fashion district. 
No, she's you're going alone. You're going home alone. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, so like I was saying, or starting to say, I want to do the I want to do a shell challenge. But question. Do you want it to be a room or an actual bowl? I was leaning towards a room, maybe like towards a kitchen, because, you know, we just got the cool, not cool kitchen, what am I saying? We just got the Home Chef Hustle stuff back, so I feel like maybe doing some sort of like a kitchen room build could be fun. I don't know, just an idea. But I figured, you know, I could build it off camera and then I will, I'll post it over on Twitter. I'll post it over. I'm not gonna do like. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a room build. I haven't done a room build on the channel in ages. So maybe I'll do a room build and like announce the challenge. Like the room shell challenge in a video. But I'll also post it on Twitter because Twitter will probably. Twitter will probably know first. You know, if I'm being realistic, they will know first. Because I'll have to like edit the video and like all of that stuff. So yeah. Twitter will know first, and then, like, I'll do the shell challenge, and maybe we'll see if next time when I play, oops, we have some, we have rats again, we have rats again, yikes, so I don't know if next time when we play, if we'll do, you guys will have to let me know, maybe I'll put a poll up on Maybe I'll put a poll up on the community tab or something. And you guys can let me know if you want to do a... Sorry, my brain is like... <laughs> my brain is... It's like I'm... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But, yeah. What was I saying? <laughs> This is how you know it's time for me to get off. But yeah, so I'll put a po I'll put a poll up on the community tab about what you guys want to do next stream. If that's, you know, continuing with this like playthrough or if you want to do some like maybe we'll do I don't I don't know. I don't want to give you guys just like one week to do the shell challenge so that's why i was leaning towards maybe doing some more gameplay next week and then maybe doing the shell tours the week after that just to give you you know a fair bit of time thank you so much for the live it was awesome i'm so glad but yeah so i'm gonna we have enough money so i'm gonna do this right now so I'm going to have her plant those things. So yeah, I, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking next week we'll do some more gameplay. And then the week after that, we can do the shell tours, I think. But before we leave, I want her to buy a restaurant. Don't sleep. Buy a restaurant. We have just enough. Some, like simoleons to do this just we probably would have had more if I didn't save those blackberries but I feel like I could use them for baking and stuff so we're gonna buy that she has 114 simoleons left <laughs> but it's something and the lot isn't going to be functional right off the bat because obviously we don't have enough money to buy the other restaurant stuff that we need like the chef station and seating and stuff like that which i was fine with originally because i felt like you know we don't really need all of those we don't need it to function right off the bat i'll get all of the items i'll even hire the employees and have all of that stuff set like see we need a sink a toilet chef station dining spot waiter station all of that stuff and we can't afford that like we just can't so i'm going to put down what we have like the waiter station and the chef station 
And I'm gonna leave it at that. Now, the one annoying thing is that I can't set... I can't use any of the new recipes for restaurants. It just... They, don't, they just don't show up. Which is such a pain, and that's such a letdown. Yes, I know my venue is still incomplete. I don't care. You better, you better already own it. Excuse me? It's telling me that I don't own the venue. I do own this venue. You took my money. Maybe it's because it's not functional. So I don't know. I don't know. I feel like. What would all of this stuff cost? 120. Can I do that? That's technically a toilet. It is technically a toilet. And it's a free toilet. So we're gonna go free toilet. 120 chef station is wow. 3300. Yikes. And dining spot. Okay, so here is where a little bit of cheating is going to come in. Because I did just earn the money to buy this lot. Why does she suddenly have a thousand simoleons? Why? From what? I swear this is driving me nuts. What is going on with this freaking game? Like, what even? Okay, so she does own it, but it's not showing up. Check my notifications. Mm, it doesn't say anything. I think it's just because I keep exiting build mode while it's not technically a functional restaurant. So that's why it's glitching. But with that said, I'm going to cheat. And I'm gonna give her, like, we'll say that it was one, two, three, four, five K. I'm gonna give her five K. And I will, like, take that off. So, like, every time I pay her bills, I'll deduct maybe, like, 500 extra simoleons. Just to make it seem like. What am I doing? This is so weird. Is it my ass? See, this is what I don't, I don't, I don't know what the hell is going on. Like, I can't place items, but I also can't like transfer. I, I also can't transfer money into add it. See, it it adds it. Yeah, I have to complete the checklist, but I can't transfer money from her account into the business account because the game see now it tells me that I have like 8,000 simoleons but I wasn't supposed to have that so that is like I don't know I'll either way I'll like yeah I I'm trying to like I'm trying to like just complete the checklist but I can't put money into the business account to buy the items it won't allow me to buy the items because it says that i don't have any funds but i can't transfer the funds from her account into the business account because it like i, I don't have the option the business isn't showing up as being like owned by her if that makes sense so i can't 
put anything down. It's like the game is just bugged. Like, it doesn't show that she owns the lot. So, she can't put money over into this account to buy stuff. So, I don't know what the hell is going on with this game. But this is definitely something I can just fix off camera because, like I just told you guys, I'm going to give her 5k. I'm going to give her 5 extra thousand simoleons to just buy those items so that the lot can count as a restaurant and be fine. So that, you know, that's just handled. I'm not going to do like any building or decorating or anything like that. I'm literally just going to put the items in a room <laughs> and that's it like i'm not even going to put a door on it i'm gonna make it look like a shipping container probably and just have all of the items stacked in there so yeah i feel like that is definitely what i'm gonna have to do because the game just it, it's like the game has just ceased working <laughs> but yeah so you did see that I earned the money that I needed to buy the lot. So I did not cheat for that. And as for the extra 5k, I will make a note of it. And I'll keep track of it. So like every time that I have to pay bills for the apartment, I'll also take off maybe like an extra 500 simoleons or whatever. So that she's kind of like repaying that bill, if that makes sense. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> this was a very... A very rambly stream, I feel like. And we did... Take quite a bit of a detour over there, like... A while ago. With me just going off on a tangent about my current household. But, you know, that was a lot of fun for me. So, yeah. But if you guys don't follow me over on Twitter already... Go and do that because like I said, Twitter will be the first to know about the shell challenge. I will post a little picture of the shell challenge with all of the rules and all of that stuff on Twitter first. And then I'll do a video about it and maybe show me actually building a kitchen in the shell and all of that stuff. And I'll also definitely post about it over on our discord server as well so the discord is totally free to join anyone can join it it's open to everyone and then if you're a channel member you just get access to separate channels in the discord server but the majority of the server like all of our fun channels like movie channel games channels books art you know pictures all of that stuff that's open for everyone all of our sims channels as well so yeah definitely go ahead check all of that out but yeah like i said hope you guys enjoyed this i don't know when the next video is going to be if i'm completely honest i have a couple of builds done like i have like five six six builds done i think but i need to edit all of them and that is a pain that i haven't felt like getting to just over this weekend, like I said, I've been really busy. I haven't had the energy. But next, tomorrow, is Monday. So it's back to, like, our regular scheduled programming, I guess you could say. So I'll get back into editing and doing all of that stuff. And all of those fun YouTube things. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this, like I said. And then I'll see you guys in a video sometime this week. But also, I... Like I mentioned in the last live stream, I want to make these streams like a weekly thing. I don't know exactly when our next one is going to be. This one was a little bit... I didn't give you guys a lot of notice about when I was streaming. I only gave you like maybe I think four hours of notice. But for the next one, I'm definitely going to try and give you more notice. Maybe like a couple of days in advance. So yeah, just keep your eyes on Twitter, on Discord, on the community tab as well for when our next stream is going to be and we'll probably, we'll probably be playing the save again, I think. I think we're going to be playing the save again because like I said, I don't want to give you just one week for shell challenge submissions. I don't want to do that. 
and also i don't know if it's going to be next sunday or if it's going to be next friday <laughs> that i'm streaming so yeah so we'll probably play this next week as well or we'll do something i don't know but yeah i like gameplay it's fun <laughs> so yeah i'll see you guys then but i hope you had a great i hope you enjoyed this hope you had a great weekend or rest of your weekend if your weekend isn't over yet like mine is but yeah, I'll see you guys all in my very next video. Bye, everyone.